بس اللي امري وقال له قلت من لساني يكتب دوله My sisters and my brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's a great pleasure for me to be here in Japan, especially the city of Tokyo. And the topic of my talk this evening is Muhammad. Peace be upon him, the mercy to humanity. Will you be translating together? Or? I, I want to do that. Would no, you just be translating. Now, just now. Short or in the ending you will short? Uh, will you I translate in the ending? Short, short it. So will short. you translate in the ending or? No, now. Okay. Hon jitsu wa o atsumari itadakimashite, arigatou gozaimasu. Mina sama o islam no挨拶、アスラマライクンワルマトロワバロカトでお迎えしたいと思います。日本に入ること、日本に訪れることができて大変嬉しく思います。本日のトピックは預言者ムハンマドさんは彼の上に平安あれは全人類の慈悲ということについ
しかしながらムハマド預言者様以前に使わされた首都,によ首都の方たちがに従った人たちはただ単にその部族の方たちが従っただけです。But the Quran says that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was the last and final messenger. It's mentioned in Surah Azab chapter 30 verse number 40. Ma kana Muhammadun aba adim min jalikum walaki Rasulullah wa khatim al Nabi wa kana Allah bi kulli shayin alima. That Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is not the father of you any men. He's not, the, he's not the father of any of you men, but he is the messenger of Allah and the seal of Prophet. Quran にににおおいいいいいいてててて、てて、者者様は、人人類類ののののの父ととととうわわけででなく、使使わさされれたメッセンジャーるるます。Because Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was the last and final messenger, he was not sent only for the Muslims or the Arabs, he was sent for the whole of humanity. ムハマド預言者様は最後でして最終の預言者様であるためアラブのムスリムに使わされたという預言者ではなくすべての全人類に,よってに向けて使わされた預言者様になります。Illa rahmatil alamin that we have sent thee not but as the mercy to all the worlds, as the mercy to all the creatures, as the mercy to the whole of humanity. クロアンにおいて、ムハマド預言者様を使わせたということは、全人類及び全すべての生き物に対する慈悲であると明記されています。So Almighty God Allah Subhanahu wa Taala clearly mentioned in the Quran that Prophet Muhammad be upon him has been sent as the mercy to the whole of humanity. ですから、クロアンに明らかにあるなっているように、アンラーはムハマド預言者様をすべての人類に対する慈悲として使わされているのです。アンラー repeats the message. Allah says in Surah Sabah, chapter number 34, verse number 28, Mama at Salaka illa kafatil linas, Bashiro wa Naziro. Wala kinna aksab nasi la ayamun. That we have sent thee not but as the universal messenger, giving glad tidings and warning them against sin, but most of the human beings yet do not know. Quran no 34 and 28 says in the way, Muhammad the Yogi Shah Sama. 慈悲として使わせそれをただし人はす,すべての人類がそれを認めているわけではございません。This talk of mine, Muhammad, peace be upon him, the mercy to humanity, can go on for hours and days together. There is so much of matter, but for brevity, I will divide the talk into three parts. 本日のトピックを3つに分けてお話ししたいと思います。The first part I will be speaking about what is mentioned by our Creator Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in the Quran about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him。まず最初にムハマド預言者様がどのようなものであるかをクロアンに,に基づいてお話しします。The second part I'll be dealing About the sayings and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, which are mentioned in the Sahih Hadith. 次にハディス等で見られるムハマド預言者様の教えをお知らお伝えします。And in the third part, I'll be speaking about the statements of the non-Muslims, what they have to speak about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. そして最後にムスリムではない人がムハマド預言者様についてどのように申しているかをお伝えいたします。First, we'll discuss. About what does our Creator Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala have to speak about Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him? まず最初に全能なるアンラがどのように伝えているかをお伝えします。Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in the Quran in Surah Kalam, chapter number sixty-eight, verse number four. Allah says, Inna ka la lakum, khulqum azim. That indeed, verily, in the Prophet is. The best pattern of conduct. Verily, in the Prophet is the highest standard of conduct. Quran, chapter 68, verse number four, Allah says, "Allah says, Allah says in the Quran in Surah Azab, chapter number thirty-three, verse number twenty-one, Allah says." La lakum, lakum, fi Rasulullah Husnul Husna. That verily in the Prophet you will find the best example. 
歌第33章21節の中でアラ,ラはムハマド預言者様は最も,最も良い模範だと伝えていらっしゃいます。Allah says in the Quran in Surah Shara, chapter number 94, verse number 4. Allah says, What a final like a zikr, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised him to high esteem. But the Quran of the 94th verse of the Quran, Allah says, Muhammad is the most high one in the world. Allah says, What a final like a zikr, verily we have raised him to the high esteem. And it is further mentioned in the glorious Quran. It is mentioned in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 31. That it says that if you love Allah, Allah is saying to the Prophet, say, if you love Allah, follow me. And Allah will love you and will show mercy on you.第31節において言っています。に書かれています。言ってやるがいい。あなたがもしアラを敬愛するならば私に従い。そうすればアラもあなた方おめであれ。あなた方の罪を許される。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深くあられる。アラは寛容にして慈悲深く同じように第3章第,第32節の中でアラーに従いアラーに従うことでアラーはあなたを愛されると申しています。アラーは言うことで、それはアザーチャプトの33章の6で、the prophet for the believers they love him more than, than their own selves。また第33章第6節において言われています。アラーアラを自分の母よりも愛せよ。アラセスのコランインソラリムランチャプトの3、ワン59、says that had it not been on the part of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he made you gentle, or if you would have been harsh and tough on them, they would have broken apart. また、アラはクラーの中で親切でいることそのことによってあなたは守られると言っています。Ya Allah is saying that He made Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam merciful, kind and gentle. If the Prophet was harsh and if he was stern and tough, surely the people would have been broken and no one would have been stayed close to him. So the Prophet made him merciful, kind and gentle. から。モハマド預言者様はアラーによって親切な方、親切な崇高な特性を備えた方として作られ、それがために信者ではない人たちにももちろん慕われる人となっております。For this mission in the Quran in Surah Fusila, chapter number 41, verse number 34, it says that the good is not like the evil. Repel evil with something better. And to you who is an enemy, He will become a devoted friend of yours. The day Sanjay is your Sanjay on Sets in your day, you will be famous. Allah no Yaksot question said, Anatavatawa, Genzai, no Sekatina Zamakarita, I can. Let's try and understand what is mentioned in the Hadith, the sayings of the Prophet Mosalasalam regarding his mercifulness. また次にハディースの中でどのようにアラの慈悲が示されているかをお伝えしたいと思います。It is mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 6, Hadith number 6631.It says that when the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was troubled and harassed by the opponents, Many of his companions told him that why don't you pray to Allah? Why don't you tell Allah and you curse these opponents? So the hadith says that when the Sahaba told the Prophet that why don't you curse the opponents and your enemies, so Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, replied that I have not been sent as an invoker of curses, but I have been sent as a mercy to humankind. 
ムスリムによるハディース第6番の661によりますとサハーバたちがムハンマド預言者様になぜアラーに敵を打ち負かすようにお願いしないのかと伝えたところムハンマド預言者様は私は全人類の慈悲として使わされたのであると答えられました From this hadith we come to know that the Prophet was not a mercy only to the believers but even to the non-believers even to the enemies even to the opponents he did not curse them but He said he was sent as a mercy to the whole of humankind. このハディースから分かることは、ムハンマド預言者様は慈悲として使われされた。それはムスリムに対してだけではなく、全人類、彼に対する敵対者に対しても慈悲として使わされたということが分かります。<笑> It's mentioned in Sai Muslim, volume number 6, Hadith number 6030, that Prophet Muhammad said that if you show not mercy, then the Lord will not show mercy on you. サヒフムスリムによりますと、慈悲を示すことによって、アラーは慈悲をあなたに返されると伝えています。It is mentioned in a say hadith of Tirmidhi, in number four, hadith number 1924, where the Prophet peace be upon him said that if you show mercy on the people, then he will show mercy on you. If you show mercy on the people of the world, then person who is in the heaven, he will be merciful towards you. またハディーシャによりますと、あなたが人々に慈悲を示すと、人々はあなたに慈悲を与え、また世界に慈悲を示すことによ天国があなたに慈悲を示すと伝えています。So the Prophet always advocated and taught that the Muslims should be merciful to all the human beings. ですから、ムスリムと、ムスラム教徒、ムスリムは全人類に対して慈悲を持たなければなりません。It is mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number four, hadith number 3231 that the wife of the Prophet said, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. She asked the Prophet, that Was there any day in your life which was worse than the day of the battle of Uhud? Which is the worst day of your life? So the Prophet said, Yes, it was the day of Al Aqaba in Taif. ブハーリーによりますと、預言者ムハマド様の妻のアイシャが、アイシャ様がムハマド預言者様にウフドの戦いより悪い日がありましたでしょうかと聞いたところ、ムハマド預言者様の答えは悪魔の日だと答えられました。And when the Prophet went to deliver the message of Islam to the people of Taif, they harassed him, and they did not listen to the message, they did not, they did not obey the Prophet, and some of the narrations say that they even stoned him. It was the worst day of his life. ハディスによりますと、ムハンマド預言者様の言葉を受け取らず、それに敵対し、さらに石を投げた日、それが最も悪い日だということです。Then when the prophet was sitting his head down in sun, suddenly he finds a shade of cloud over his head, a shade of silver cloud. And when he looks up, he sees the archangel Gabriel. He sees Jibril a.s. salam. And Jibril a.s. says, That Allah has witnessed what they did to you and how they behaved with you. So Allah has sent the angels of mountain to help you. And Jibril a.s. he calls the angel of mountain. Muhammad a.s. said, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 様は伝えましたアラーはあなたの行動を見ているあなたが何をしたかを見ているそのために私を使わされたということです。When the angel of mountain comes, he says to the prophet that your Lord has sent me and he has witnessed and heard how did the people behave with you. You, you command what should I do? Whatever you say I will do. Do you want me to bring both the mountains of Makkah together? Do you want me to get both the mountains close to either? So that the people will be crushed to death in between them. The Scarsaleta Yamano Tenshiva, Allah, Allah, Nioti, what a short Scarsarimasta, Muhammad against us, Amy Taisu, Hitobito, no Kona, Mita, what a short Scarsaritimas, Muhammad against us, Amadono, and Staika, Anata, and Nozomono de Areva, Isio Nagate Kotor, Isio Nagas, Yona Kotomotikimas. The Prophet, peace be upon, replied, No, I would rather want. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings from the loyals of these people a generation from these people who will worship Allah and will not associate partners with Him. Muhammad Yagan Shah Samasari Nitaish de Kotai Ramashtas, Tashanga Nozumano, Karela Nakani Allah Nitaish de 
帰依する人が出てくることです。Imagine the prophet says it was the worst day of his life. Imagine if it was the worst day of your life and if someone wants to help you and says I can crush the enemy to death, here the prophet says, don't put them to death, but I want Allah to bring from their loins, from their generation, from their children, a people who will believe in Allah and who will not associate partners with God. 人生最悪の日にあなたを助けようと言ってくれたものに対してムハンマド預言者様はそ,こその助けを望むのではなくそれ彼らの中から自分の敵対者の中からアンラーを信じる人が出てくることを望まれたのです And they rejected the message. Why don't you curse? Curse these people of Daos. And the Sahabas, they thought now the Prophet would curse the people of Daos. But the Prophet said, Oh Allah, guide the people of Daos so that they come close to us. The Prophet said, Give Hidayah, give guidance, but he did not curse them. Buhari, in your Hadith, in your Hadith, アンラー、ムハマド預言者様の言葉を信じてそれどころかそれを拒否する人々に対してサーバーたちがどうするかぜひそれ敵対者たちを打ち負かすように言った時にムハマド預言者様はそアンラーに対して願ったことは彼らが導かれますように彼らに被害がありますようにということでした。The Prophet peace be upon him, history and hadith tells us that even prayed for the staunchest enemy of Islam and this is mentioned In a Sayyid Hadith of Tirmidhi, volume number six, Hadith number 3681, that the Prophet prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, O、oh、Allah, give guidance at least to one of the two staunchest enemies of Islam, the two Umarain, that is Abu Jahl or Umar bin Khattab. The Prophet prayed to, to God that among the two staunchest enemies, at least give Hidayah, give guidance to one. Of these two enemies, both the name was Umar, one was Abu Jahl, his nickname, and the, and the other was Umar bin Khattab. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave guidance to Hazrat Umar bin Khattab, who later on became the second Caliph of Islam. Hadith in Yerima, Mr. Muhammad, the Kensha Samoa, Allah, and Taishi, Doka, what is not the Jona Kyoko, the Ki, two of them, one 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 この中でウマルホタイブ様にアンラーの導きがもたらされ彼は舞台二代の正当カリフとなりました。It is further mentioned in the hadith of Sai Muslim, volume number five, hadith number 4589, which is also mentioned in Sai Bukhari, hadith number 4372, that once the Sabahs they capture a person by the name of Sumama from Yamama. And this person, he had killed several Muslims. He had butchered and killed several Muslims. So they arrest him and they get him to the Prophet. And when they get him to the Prophet, the Prophet says that what should be done to you, O Umama? So Umama replies that if you kill me, You would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. But if you free me and if you want ransom, I can give you all the wealth. And if you forgive me, you'll be, for you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful to you. So the Prophet gives him milk and he drinks the milk. And after drinking, he licks his, his lips. That means he wasn't fully quenched his desire. So the Prophet tells the Sabahs to give one more bowl of milk. Again, he licks his lip after drinking. Then the third, then the fourth. After the seventh bowl of milk, he does not lick his lip. The Prophet says, Take him away. The next day, when he comes, again, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, asks him the same. Same question. Oh, Amama, what should be done with you? 
たあるハディスは伝えていますムハマド預言者様のもとにムスリムを多く殺したオマーマという人が連れてこられましたムハンマド預言者様は彼に対して私はどうあなたをどう扱ったらいいかと尋ねたところオマーマは私はたくさん殺していますから殺されたところで文句は言いませんまた私を自由にされたために何か身の代金を要求するのであればもちろんそれを支払いますまた許してくださるのであればそれは非常にありがたいことですということでしたムハンマド預言者様は彼の望む通りに彼がお腹いっぱいになるまで満足するまでミルクを与えましたそして彼はそのままそこを離れまた次の日やってきてムハンマド預言者様と同じ会話を繰り返します Again, Umama, he repeated the same answer that if you kill me You would not be doing wrong because I killed many Muslims. And if you want ransom, I can give you all my wealth. And if you forgive me and free me, you will be forgiving a person who will be grateful. Again, the Prophet gives him milk. He drinks it. He licks his lip. The second ball, the third ball, the seventh ball. After the seventh ball, he does not lick his lip. And the Prophet says, Take him away. 同じ質問が繰り返され、殺されてもいい、あるいは身の代金を支払うのでもいい、自由にしてくれるのであれば、それは大変ありがたい。こうして今回はミルクを3本まで飲んで離れていきました。The third day when Sumama comes, again the Prophet asks him that what do you have to say? What should be done with you? So he says and repeats the same answer that if you kill me, you would not be doing wrong because I've killed many Muslims. If you are ransom, I can give you my wealth. If you forgive me, you'll be forgiving a person who's grateful. And the Prophet then he sets him free. And all the Sahabas are shocked that how could the Prophet set free an enemy who has killed so many Muslims? And they were shocked at the decision of the Prophet. 同じ3日目にまた同じ質問と同じやり取りが繰り返され、アマアマは自由になりました。その様子を見ていたサハバたちは非常に衝撃を受けました。So Mama goes towards the date prampi and then he washes himself. And later on, he comes back to the Prophet and then he says the Shahada that there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah. そのやり取りの後、家に自宅に戻ったおままは自分の髪を清め、再びムハマド・ユゲンシャ様のもとにやってきて、シャハードを唱えました。The worst, most hated faith of any human being in this world was the faith of Muhammad. And today, the most beloved, the most loved, the most liked faith in the full world of any, of any human being it is the faith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. という宗教であったイスラムという信仰であったが今,今日からは最も愛すべきものがムハマド預言者様の導く宗教であると申しましたスママ says that before the religion which I hated the most which I disliked the most was the religion of prophet Muhammad peace be upon Islam and today the religion I like the most the religion I love the most is the religion of prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that is Islam また同じように、以前は最も憎むべき信仰はイスラムであったけれども、今,今日からは最も愛すべき信仰がイスラムであると言いました。Before, the city I hated the most, the city I disliked the most was the city of Medina, that the city of the Prophet. Today, the city I love the most, the city I like the most is the city of the Prophet, that is the city of Medina. また、以前は最も嫌いな最も憎むべき町は預言,者の預言者様の町マディーナだったけれども今は最も愛すべき町がマディーナであると言いました。He said, the last three days that I stayed here, I could not believe my eyes seeing the companions of the Prophet, like Hazrat Umar, Hazrat Abu Bakr, all these, and the way they loved each other, and the way they respected the Prophet, and the way they obeyed the Prophet. ここ3日間、私は自分の見たものが信じられませんでした。サハーバたちがお互いに尊敬し合っている様子、またサハーバたちがムハマド預言者様に向ける敬愛の様子が、また私にとっては衝撃的でした。He said he has not seen in his full life any human being loved and respect as much as Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. 
まあ、まあこのような人類がお互いに愛しムハンマド預言者様が愛される様子というものは最高のものであると言いました He said, in my place, if someone gave the call for prayer in the morning and disturbed me, I would have killed the person. Here, there's a black man, Bilal, may Allah be pleased with him. He gives a call in the morning and he wakes up the people. And then he, the black man, is straightening the row for the prayer, irrespective of whether the person is white, whether he's an Arab, whether he's a non Arab. Imagine a black man touching all the human beings. And the humanity between all the human beings has really shocked me. I was in the place of the Yogan Shah, 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 Even the companions were merciful and kind, and this shocked the enemy of Islam and they changed their hearts. Hadith から学ばなければいけないことは、ムハンマド預言者様は非常に慈悲深い方であり、またサハバドサハバたち同士での慈悲や慈愛、またそれが敵に向けられた時の慈愛となり、その敵が心を変えたということです。And one of the best examples of mercy is the Fatih Makkah. That is the conquest of Makkah. And we know when Prophet Muhammad when he came back to Makkah with a large, ten of thousand, more than 10,000 companions, and when he marched into Makkah, victory was easy. And the Muslims, they conquered Makkah without bloodshed. The most important thing is that the people of Mecca are not going to be able to do it. And when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, entered Mecca, he said that all those who are in the house of, in the house of Abu Sufyan, all those who enter the house of Abu Sufyan, they are safe. Abu Sufyan, he was the chief of the pagan Arabs. He was the chief of Makkah and he was the leader of the enemies. So when he enters Makkah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, Anyone who enters the house of Abu Sufyan, the chief of the enemies of Muslims, he is safe. Muhammad Yagensha Sama, Mecca, and Hira, and Tokimi, and Shai Mashta, Abu Sufyan, and Sotoji, and Sai, and Muslim, and Tai, and Tiki, and Tai, 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 All those who stay behind locked doors, they are safe. すべての人間が安全を保障される。He says further that Rashi, the person who killed the uncle of the prophet, had a thumbs up. May Allah be pleased with him. He said he is forgiven. Hinda, Hind, the lady who ate the liver. Of Hamza, may Allah be pleased with him, who was the uncle of the Prophet. Even she is forgiven. また、ムハンマド預言者様のおじであるハムザを様を殺された殺した人を許す。またその遺体から内臓を食べたものも許すとおっしゃいました。The Prophet said, "Habar, the person who threw a spear at the daughter of the Prophet when she was traveling from Makkah to Medina." And later on, because of that wound and injury, she died. The Prophet said, Habar is also forgiven. Imagine, Prophet forgive the killer of the uncle, the person who ate the liver of his uncle, the person who killed his daughter. When the Prophet came to Makkah, he forgave everyone. ハマル原社様はメッカに入場されたとき、自分のおじだけでなく、娘を殺したすべ、自分の親族を殺したものすべてを許されました。One of the companions by the name of Saad, may Allah be pleased with him, he said that this is the day of massacre. And the Prophet said, No, this is the day of mercy. Muhammad Yagin Shah Sama, New Jong no Hiwa, Gaksat no Hitomar, to eat the Mono Gari Mastaga, Muhammad Yagin Shah Sama, so you stay sare, Kahonjitsu, Jihi no Hidar, to eat Masta. This is mentioned several hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Volume Five, in Sahih Muslim, and various several hadiths about the conquest of Makkah. このことは多くの hadiths によって伝えられています
Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hujurat, chapter number 49, verse number 13, Allah says, Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnaakum min zakin wa unsa wa jallakum shu'ubaw wa kabaila li ta'arafu inna khalaqnaakum min dalla yastakum inna la alimun khabeel O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female and have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other not that you shall despise each other and the most honored in the sight of Almighty God is the person who has taqwa is the person who has got consciousness, piety and righteousness. The Quran de tsutai rai te imasu. Ni jinrui wa danjo pea de tsukurare, sore wa tagai wa shiru tame no mono de ari, tekitai shiru mono tame no mono dewa nai. Maha Allah no mai ni oite mo kyouka sareru no wa Allah ni tai shiru takwa no mi de aru. This verse of the Quran is the best verse on universal brotherhood which says that all the human beings have been created from one pair. We have one common great, 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 great grandparents, Adam and Eve. And we have been divided into nations and tribes so that we shall recognize each other, not that we shall despise each other. And the most honored, the only way one human being is superior to the other is not by wealth, is not by sex, is not by color, it's not by age, but it is with taqwa, it is God consciousness, it is piety, it is righteousness. 先ほどの説は最も人類に持たされた最も素晴らしい説です。全人類は一つのペア、一つの国から作られ、そして互いを知り合うために国や部族が分けられています。また、人類で最も評価されるのは、アンラーに対するタクは信心,心,心だけです。In the third part of my talk, I will be speaking about the comments of some of the non-Muslims. There are many non-Muslims who have commented on the Prophet, who is the mercy to humanity. Time will not permit me to speak about all. I'll just mention a few. Third part of the talk, where Muslims are not people, from Muhammad Yusuf, from whom comments have been made, I will mention a few. Third part of the talk, where Muslims are not people, from Muhammad Yusuf, from whom comments have been made, I will mention a few. There was a book by the name The Hundred, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. This book was written. by Michael H. Hart. And Michael H. Hart, he was a historian, he was a mathematician, and, and he was an astronaut. In the book, The Hundred, a ranking of the most influential persons in history, Michael, Michael H. Hart, an American, he lists the hundred most influential people in the world. And he gives the ranking one, two, three, four, and he gives the reasoning for why has he ranked number one, number two, number three, right down till number hundred. 彼はこの本において人類に影響を与えて100人を取り上げ、すべてのランキングにおいて名前とともにその理由を示しています。In his list, he names Asoka, he names Aristotle, he gives the name of Buddha, he gives the name of Confucius. この本においてアショカオやアリストテレスやブッダの名前なども挙がっています。But the most shocking amongst all is he gives number one to the last and final messenger of Islam to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. この本が人々を驚かしたのは一番。人類に与えた人としてムハンマド原社様を取り上げたからです。People would worry, people would wonder, why has this American in America, why has he given a Muslim as number one, the most influential persons in history, right from Adam till today? Why? We would wonder why. なぜこのアメリカ人の教授は著作の中で一番にムハンマディオ原社様の不理を持ってきたのか、すべての人は疑問を持ちました。この本の中で、イーサー様は3番も、ムーサー様は15番となっています。People would wonder that his audience, the reader, all the readers of his, most of the readers of his book, Would be Americans. More than 300 million Americans, they are Christian and Jews. So why should he place the person who they believe 
as the main important person as number 3 and number 15. この本の読者の大半はクリスチャンあるいはユダヤ教徒であるアメリカ人でしたその彼らにとって重要な預言者たちが日本語で電車さんがいるも下にありましたマイケルチャーティーギブリーズニングフォーヒズディシジョンエン
を人類,のも人類に最も影響を与えた人間としたことは多くの人を驚かせまたそれに反対するものも多いであろうしかし彼こそが人類において唯一宗教の面および世俗の両面で成功された人間なのである There was an article that came in Time magazine and we know that Time magazine is one of the most popular weekly magazine in the world an article came on the 15th of July 1974 And on the cover page, it mentioned who are the history's great leaders. So, what Time Magazine did, they requested the historians, the writers, the businessmen to comment who do they think are the best leaders in the world, in the history. Time Magazine, this is what we are doing. 週刊誌の一つですけれども、この中で特集が組まれました、歴史上、まあ、人類史上最も,最も最高のリーダーは誰かという特集が組まれました。このタイム誌に意見を寄せた人たちの多くの人がマハマド・ユゲンシャ様の名前を挙げました。そのうちの一人がウィリアム・マグニーになります。William McNeil is a historian from the University of Chicago, USA. And he says that if leadership has to be judged by the impact, I would say the world's greatest leaders were Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, maybe Lenin. Possibly Mao. But if you have to implement anyone today, in today's age, I would say John F. Kennedy. このウィリアム・マグニールはシカゴ大学の歴史家です。彼が言うリーダーシップがその衝撃の度合いによって測るのであれば、人類史上有の偉大な歴史家。リーダーというものはイエス・ブッダ・ムハマド・ヨゲムハマド・ヨゲンシャ様およびジョン・レノンということになるけれども現在存命の人間で言えるのであればそれはジョン・エフ・ケネディであるウィリアム・マクニール did not give the reasons for his choice but he had the guts to mention the name of prophet Muhammad peace be upon him amongst one of the greatest leaders in the ministry マグニールは自分が挙げた人たち、自分がなぜその人たちを挙げたか理由は挙げませんでしたけれども、述べませんでしたけれども、彼はその人類の中で偉大な人間の一人として、マハマド・ユーゲン様をピックアップしました。There's another person by the name of James Gavin. He is a retired lieutenant general in the US Army. And he writes, And he says that amongst the world's greatest leaders in history are Muhammad, peace be upon him, Jesus, and Buddha and Confucius. And he says, James Gavin, that Muhammad, Jesus, maybe Lenin. And possibly Mao. And in the present time, it may be John F. Kennedy. This was mentioned by James Gavin. James Gavin, American Taikigunjin, Taiki no Shogun, this case, Mokarega, Agata Namaiwa, Mohammed Gensha Sama, yes, so stay Buddha, so stay Sarah Nidokyo, no, so she shall need us. で彼が言うには、存命中の人間であれば、ジョン・ F ・ケネディを挙げました。Here, James Gavin goes out of his way and places Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as number one 
among the world's greatest leaders in history. そしてこのジェームス・キャビンはムハンマディア元社様が一番,有一番偉大なリーダーであると言っています。ウィリアム・マキニーナは言っています。Are to judge, then the world's greatest leaders are Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, and Confucius, the prophets of the religion. But William McNeil was no Kekakaramido no de Areba, yes, to Buddha, to Muhammad, the Asian Sama, to Dokyo, no, so Kaisi Shaga, Idaina, leader, that to Stadium. Another person by the name of Jules Massaman. Who was a psychoanalyst in the University of Chicago? Before he gives the answer, he puts down his criteria that a leader should cater to three things. A leader should fulfill three conditions. Number one, provide the well being of the lead. Number two, provide A social organization where the people feel relatively secure. And third is that he gives one set of beliefs to the people, provides one set of beliefs to the people. ジョン・マックスマン、彼は心理学者ですけれども、彼は偉大なリーダーの名前を挙げる前にリーダーの要件を挙げました。その,その要件には3つあり、1つは彼の,そのリーダーに付き従う人たちにとって土地を与えること、安全を与えること、そして信心を与えることです。If these three are the criteria for judgment of a great leader, he said that Gandhi and Confucius may be leaders. In the first sense. And. この3つの条件に当てはめるのであれば、ガンディ、そしてあるいは同居のものは一番目最初のものだけに当てはまります。I'm sorry, he said that Lenin and Sach would be leaders in the first sense. 最初の部分。を満たすものがまずリーダーということになります。ガンディ and Confucius in one hand and Alexander and Caesar and Hitler on the other hand would be leaders in the second sense and maybe in the third sense。からその先ほどの基準に当てはめますと、アレクサンドル大王やヒトラーは第二番目のところまで当てはまることになります。Jesus and Buddha。Would be leaders only in the third sense. しかし、イエスやブッダは三つのうち最後のものしか当てはまりません。But the greatest leader in human history would be Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who fulfilled all the three senses. And Moses somewhat did the same to a lesser extent. しかしながら偉大なムハマディ原者様はこの3つの基準すべてを当てはめに当てはまっております。Imagine a Jew in America is saying the greatest leader after giving criteria in the history was Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him。アメリカにいるユダヤ教徒にとってムハマディ原者様は一人の偉大なリーダーであるということです。There was a person by the name of Professor Ramakrishna now, who was a Hindu, and he wrote a book, Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam. Hindu no Yumanistan is doing a remaster, Muhammad Yugansha Sama, Islam no Yugansha Dara. In this book, he takes the help of Hitler's words. What are the criteria? That Hitler thought, who is a genius. And he quotes Hitler and he says that a good theorist s 
seldom is a good leader. And an agitator is much better. He has the qualities of a leader. And a person who sets rules may not be a good leader. But the best and a genius is a union of all three, a union of all three, that is a person who is a theorist, a person who is an agitator, and a person who is a leader. And rarely, it's very difficult and rare to find such a combination of all three in any human being. If it's there, it will be a genius. This was said by Hitler. それを人々に伝え、それをまた指導することができることが天才の条件ですが、この3つが全て備わっている人間というのを探すことは非常に難しい状態にありますですから、この3つが全て備わっている人間は天才と呼べるのです。After quoting Hitler, Professor Ramakrishna Rao, he gives this comments and continues and says that in the person of prophet of Islam, the earth saw and witnessed this genius who had the combination of all who walked the earth with flesh and blood. Imagine Ramakrishna Rao, a Hindu, who is a professor, he takes the help of Hitler and uses his criteria and says the only person in the world who was a genius to fulfill all these criteria and was a leader was Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, the Prophet of Islam. Another Hindu by the name of Divan, Divan Chand Sharma, he writes in the book The Prophets of the East on page 112, he says that in the Prophet you had the soul of kindness and, and the people got the fragments and never forgot it, those who stayed around him. George Bernard Shaw, he said that, and he quoted, that the man whose history I have read, and far from being the Antichrist, I personally feel he should be called the savior of humanity. Imagine George Bernard Shaw says, and he defends the prophet, that all the people who attacked the prophet and who called him the Antichrist, in fact, in his opinion, he should be called the savior of humanity. And if you read the Encyclopedia Britannica, edition number 11, it says that the most successful of all the religious personalities was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It quotes in the Encyclopedia Britannica, edition number 11, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the most successful of all religious personalities. 
。ダブリンクタニカ百貨店による、百貨事典によれば、マハマディオゲンシャ様は最も成功した宗教のリーダーだと書かれています。People lay an allegation that Islam was spread by the sword. And this allegation, the reply to this allegation is given very clearly and explicitly by the Lacey O'Leary in the book Islam at the Crossroad on page number eight. Denise O'Leary is a very famous historian and he writes that history makes it clear that the legend of fanatical Muslims sweeping across the world, forcing Islam at the point of the sword, is the most fantastic myth that historians have ever repeated. Thomas Carlyle says in the book Hero and Hero Worship, he writes the book The Hero Prophet, and he says Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his hero prophet. And he writes in the book that first you have to get your sword. Every new opinion originates in the mind of one. In one man's head, it dwells alone. One man in the full world, one, one man against all the men. It will do little good that he picks up a sword and propagates it. He should first find the sword. He's talking about the sword of intellect, the sword of love, talking about the sword of mercy. しかし、ムハマド預言者様について本を書いた人は言っています。ただ一人の人間が多くの人間に対したとき、そこで振りかざすべき権威は言葉,に言葉であり、愛です。ラーマティン、in the book、The History of the Turk、he writes, That if, if the grandeur of design and the pettiness of means and the measure of results are the three criteria for a genius, then there is no man in modern history who can come close than Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. ダラマティーニによれば、天才というものが、偉大な偉人というものが、その意味、あるいは方法、そしてその結果によって測られるのであれば、近代において、マハマドゥ・ゲンサ様に並び寄る人はいないと言っています。プロフェット・マハマド・ピース・ベアポニム、as I mentioned, and as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 107, it says, ワマ・アッサンナーカ・イラ・ラムディル・アルミン、that we have sent thee not but As a mercy to all the worlds, as a mercy to all the creatures, as a mercy to the whole of humanity. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was sent as a mercy to all the human beings. The Quran is the one who 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 is People who worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of peace and mercy for humanity, has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born. そしてスピーチの最後をこの言葉で締めくくりたいと思います。アダン・ピアソンという人が言っています。アラブ,にアラブの地域に落とされたイスラームの,イスラーム爆弾この愛,にも愛の爆弾、愛の慈愛に満ちたイスラームの爆弾を私は最も恐れている。ありがとうございます、えー、後半はここで一旦休止しまして、あのーまえー、マグリブのサラート、ムスリムの方はマグリブのサラートの準備をしていただき、えー、その後にあのにクエスチョン・アン・アンサーを再開いたします。再開予定は、えー、4時50分あす、えー、4時50分から5時の予定であります。それであのムスリムの方はサラーに行かれますけれども、あのムスリムでない方はこのままここであのお待ちになるか
あのお茶と飲まれて、えー、構いません、えー、ただしあの入室に関しましては先ほどで同様にあのムスリムでない方を先に入選させていただきます、えー、ムスリムの方は今座っている座席にもう一度座れる保証はございませんそれから、あのー、カメラ、えー、ムービーはちょっと撮影はあのー、もしお好みになりませんそれから携帯電話のバナーモードにお願いいたしますそれからムスリムの方はあの押さないように順次あのマグレムの時間はですね4時40分ですあと10分後にマグレムの時間になりますクエスチョンのアンサーは5時か5時10分前にまた再開の予定です。えー、クエスチョンサーは日本人の方、あのの無視力でない方を優先させていただきます、えー。右の方のマイクが男性、左の方のマイクが女性、えー、順番に並んでいただくことになります。Okay, from that night. Thank you. 
Now we come. Now we come to the second part of the program, which I believe is more interesting, which is more interesting than the first part. The first part was a one-way traffic; it was a monologue. Non-Muslims in the queue, they should be asked to come in the front of the mic. So I request that there should be a lady volunteer here on the left. There's a mic for the gent on my right, and a mic for the ladies on the left. Please give opportunity for the non-Muslims to ask first. They are our guest of honor today. And after the questions of the non-Muslims have got exhausted, then we'll allow the Muslims to ask the question. それでは質疑応答の第2部に入りたいと思います。質問される方はまず最初に名前と所属をもおっしゃってください。またこの会は本日のメインのゲストであるムスリムではない日本人の方を優先させていただきたいと思います。先生向かって右側には男性、左側のマイクには女性、また列の中にノンムスリムの方がいらっしゃる場合は、ぜひムスリムの方はその方に順番を先に譲っていただきたいと思います。アスラマレイ君、えっと、僕の名前は宮本ハンバドゥーナです。イエスイエス。Allow non Muslims to ask the question first. I request the volunteers that please ask, even in the ladies' section, the non Muslims can come in the front. I, I request that if there are any ladies. No, no. 繰り返しますムスリムではない方に質問の優先権を差し上げてください。今、ムスリムの方列に並ん質問の列に並んでいるムスリムの方は、ムスリムの方に順番を譲って、後ろにお回りください。Okay. We'll、first to the lady first. Yes, それでは女性の方からどうぞ。Thank you, Dr. My name is Yoko Ida. I'm from Tokyo. 私は Yoko Ida と申します。東京から参りました。I have a question concerning that Muhammad and the best example of humankind and, he, and his and my journey to Jerusalem. 私が質問したいことは、モハメッドが一晩でエルサレムに行ったという話についてなんですが、えー、と今どう考えてみてもですね、あの当時メッカからエルサレムまで一晩で行けるっていうことは無理だと。ロバかロバのロバに羽が生えていて顔が非常に美しい女性だったそういった馬に乗って一晩で飛んだそして天国に行ってモーゼとかイエスとかにもあったそこでって言ってるんですが問題なのは彼がこのモハメドが言ったことは明らかに嘘でありまあ、私たちから見ればですね、私たちから見れば大きな嘘であるわけですよね。それが大引いてですね、現在のパレスチナ問題なんかにもつながっている。で、まあ、イスラム教徒がモハメッドが言った聖地だからということで、エルサレムとあのヨルダンの,の境にあるところに自分たちの息子を立てて、えっと、紛争の火種としてしまった、根源としてしまった。もちろんあのイスラム教徒の人たちは、ね、イギリスが悪い。えー、とアラビアのロレンスが裏切ったとか英国が悪いとか言いたいかもしれませんけどもその大元の原因というのはモハメドの嘘にあると思うんですねこの嘘ををこんなそんなに人間にとって一番ベストエグザンプルという人がついたってことはムスリムも嘘をついていいですかあの質問のポイントをちょっとあのまとめてあのお願いいたしますえっと、質問のポイントは何でしょうか。I'd like to ask you this question. You know, you Muslims believe that the Muhammad's night journey to Jerusalem overnight, and so it is a blatant lie, and it's apparent, and he lied to his people and also the, to the people in those those days, and the Kurdish people also criticized him for lying, telling such a lie. 
And then Mohammed said, and so he did it in the overnight. But people still can believe you, in the you line. Repeat, can you repeat? Yeah, can do you do you believe in that? You know, just because of the line, we have so many issues in in that area. Can you repeat the question, sister? Because you're speaking Japanese, oh, okay. and suddenly you spoke English. I didn't realize when you started speaking English. So can you repeat the question, please? My question. Please. My question. Please sit one minute, Atul. Take both. Both of you take the question. Where is the director? The director is the fool or what? Both the cameramen should take the questioner, na? It's so easy. Such a good order. Means that both of the both of them should get us, na? It's not easy. You guys, the director, the director, you guys, both of them question it, na? But the gent, the gent, the lawyer, what is going on, na? Well, this is a question. I love to ask you. Why do you Muslims believe in such a blatant lie, you know, told by the Muslim in the Muhammad? It is very clear that he couldn't travel to the Jerusalem overnight. Ah, you ask me a question that why are the Muslims telling a blatant lie that Prophet Muhammad travelled to Jerusalem overnight? That's the question. Why do Muslims believe in the Muhammad's lie? If Muhammad is the best example of the humankind, should the Muslims in a lie according to him? Sister, are you a Christian? No, I'm a free thinker. Free thinker. Okay, fine. You know, the Bible says that Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. <laughs> Prophet Moses parted the sea. I'm sorry, I don't believe in the Bible either. You know, so you, you cannot no, convince me with I'm those giving in a the fairy tale. I have not finished my answer, sister. Let me finish the answer, and then you can say. We believe that the prophets of Almighty God did miracles. So when Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, it's mentioned in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 1, that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, it's called as night journey. He traveled from Mecca to the furthest mosque, that is Jerusalem. You saying, why do we believe in a lie? This is a miracle. You are a free thinker. I'm not a free thinker. I'm a Muslim. That's the difference between you and me. Now why I am a Muslim, you should have come to my talk yesterday where I proved the existence of God. You are a free thinker who does not believe in God, correct? That's right. Yesterday my topic was, does God exist? I don't intend giving the full talk here, it's a one and a half hour talk. So if you would have come yesterday, by now you would have been convinced that there is God and you would have been convinced that this Quran is the word of God. Now your question. Is it possible for someone to travel from Mecca to Jerusalem overnight? Even you can do it, even I can do it, by plane. Hmm. Prophet, it's a rhetoric question. Huh? Well, she, would she like to translate into Japanese for the Japanese audience? No, it's difficult. Let's finish. Take too much time. Okay. So, it is, you can travel. At that time, the plane wasn't there. He traveled from Mecca to, to Jerusalem. It's a miracle. There are many miracles mentioned in the Quran. For example, Moses, peace be upon him, he parted the sea. It's a miracle. Moses, peace be upon him, threw the staff and became into a sea. Miracle. What is a miracle? A miracle is something which cannot be proved scientifically and logically. Miracle is beyond the capacity of a normal human being. So if a normal human being something he does, which is not possible to prove logically or scientifically, it's called a miracle. If I can prove logically, it's not a miracle. Today if I say I travelled from Makkah to Jerusalem in one night, it's not a miracle. Even you can do it, even I can do it. At that time, when Prophet travelled, yes, it was a miracle. It was a miracle. So what we have to realise, that these are prophets of God. God is the creator of the universe of the human beings and God Almighty chooses a man amongst men to communicate his message with the other human beings and this chosen men of Almighty God we call as prophets and messengers of God. So as I said in my lecture, Almighty God has sent several messengers by name 25 are mentioned in the Quran, Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them all. But the last and final messenger was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This is a miracle. For example, this Quran. 
Yesterday I gave a talk, does God exist? And I proved that this Quran has got more than 6,000 verses, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. What we came to recently about the Big Bang, about the shape of the, the fairy tale, light of the moon is reflected, the sun is rotating, which I did not know in school. All these things are mentioned in the Quran 14 years ago. Scientifically, no one can explain how can this book mention 1400 years back about the Big Bang, which we came to know just 35, 40 years back. It's a miracle. How, how, how did we come to know 14 years back that the shape of the earth is geospherical? Miracle. When I was in school, I learned that the sun is stationary, did not rotate about the axis. The Quran said that 40 years ago. How is it possible? It's a miracle. So with this, I go to prove about embryology, about botany, about biology. All scientific things that we came to know recently, 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back, 300 years back, is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. Who could have mentioned this? It is the Creator, who we call as Almighty God. So Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, going from Makkah to Medina, sorry, Makkah to the furthest mosque, Jerusalem, it's a miracle. And this is proving that he is a prophet of God. You and I cannot do miracles. The prophet of God, miracles are done by Almighty God through the prophet of God. Hope that answers the question. Uh, okay, thank you very much. But if the, your God isn't so great, you know, why didn't you turn the whole world into the Islamic nation? And why didn't you just snap the fingers and tell the world, you know, turn it into Muslims, you know? Then you don't have to fight. Sister and has asked a very good question. People. Ask a short question. Sisters ask a very good question. Why didn't your God turn everyone into Islamic nation by snapping? This reply is given in the Quran. God knew you were going to ask this question. I don't think so. Then how is the reply already mentioned in advance? That well, is logic. It's a coincidence. Not quite many people ask before you. So God knew you were going to ask and God knew others are going to ask. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Yunus, chapter number 10, verse number 99, that if Almighty God wanted, He could have made all the people in the earth as Muslims. But why do you, that's the reason, don't force anyone to believe without their free will. What's the Quran? Because Almighty God has created various creations. All the other creations of God, besides human being and jinn, they have no free will of their own. If all would have become what God wanted, then there have been angels. Angels have no will of their own. Whatever God says, they follow. That's a different creation. Almighty God created a different creation, the human beings, which has the free will to obey or disobey God. If God made all of us obey Him, then we would be like the angels. Then where is the test? So Almighty God created this special creation called as human beings, which have an ability to go against God or follow God. This is the test. For example, when, when a teacher teaches the students, the students appear for an examination. If the student has the textbook with them, them and then write directly from the textbook, then where is the test? The test is whether do they remember, do they follow the teaching of the teacher or not. So this life is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Mulk, chapter number 67, verse number 2. Al-Lazi khalaq al wal hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you which of you is good indeed. This life we are undergoing, sister, is a test for the hereafter. Almighty God says in Surah Bakra chapter 2, verse 155, Surely will test you with fear, or with hunger, or with loss of life, or with goods that you have earned. Almighty God says, your children, your wife, your wealth are a test for you. So all this is a test for us. This is we are undergoing a test, sister. So what question you are going to ask? There are many things mentioned in the Quran. And Almighty God knows that certain people will question certain things. So that is the reason this we are undergoing is a test whether we follow the commandment of God or not. Hope that answers the question. Yes. But see the fact. No, no, see so the many fact. Muslims are dealing with What so, we'll do, one question. Thank you, can you ask, very much. What you can do, sister, you can go behind the queue of the non-Muslims and wait for a third chance. So, you ask two oh, questions. So, you ask two questions. You behind the non-Muslims. Yes, sister, you can stand behind the non-Muslims. Thank you very much. Yes, there, 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 sister. Okay, so, uh, next question, uh, woman. Yes, sister. 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 Yes, s
、えー、もう一つクエスチョンお願いしますあ、こんにちはあ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、すみません、ちょっと待ってくださいあの簡単にどういう話ですかあ、ね、えー、ね<笑>はい、えー、先ほどの質問は、えー、最高のノアマで予言あ質問内容は日本語でされてたので大丈夫ですねで回答に関しましては、えー、聖書において海を割ったというモーセのモーセ容疑者ムーセさんムーサ様の、えー、っと表現がありますけれどもマーマで預言者様に関わるだけではなく預言,者という預言者という存在は奇跡を起こすものです我々はムスリムなのでアラーが、えー、奇跡を起こすということを信じていますでまた我々今の時代には飛行機において行くことは一日で行くことは可能ですけれどもムハマド預言者様の時代にはそれは不可能であったということは明白な事実でありますからムハマド預言者様のムハンマド預言者様の旅は奇跡である昨日の神によって選ばれた人間であり選ばれた人間である預言者様というものは25人クルアンに明示されております最後にして最終の預言者様であるムハンマド預言者様が奇跡,を行う奇跡があったということは何ら不思議ではありませんまたそのようなことをなぜ信じられるのかと言われれば今昨日の講演にもお話ししましたけれども科学的に今現在知られていることが1400年前のクルに下されたクルアンに書かれておりますクルアンに書かれていることは科学的に証明ができるものでありまして1400年前にそのようなことを記載できるのは全ての事象の創造物であられる全能の神のみですですからメッカからイエルサレムへの一晩の旅夜の旅は預言者である証になりますまたなぜえー、アンラーが全能であるならば全世界をムスリムにそして全ての人間をイスラムにしないのかという質問に対してですけれどもその質問はすでにクルアンの中にいろんなクルアンの中でアンラーによってその質問がされることは想定されておりその答えも書かれております私たち人間というものはアンラーの創造アンラーの非創造物として自由な意思を与えられておりその自由な意思というのはアンラーのオーダーに命令に従うかどうかというものを試されていますもし何も考えずに全て言われたことをにきちんと従うというものであればそれは人間ではなく天使ということで人間にはその試験を受けるという才能才が能力がアンラーによって備えられていますそれは,はこの人生現世を来世へのテストとしてとアンラーにアンラーの命令を従うかどうかというのを人生を通して試されているのです。ありがとうございます。じゃあ,あの次のあの男性の質問簡単に、はい、あの名前と,とお願いします、はい。えっと僕の名前は西川拓也と申します。22歳で今大学生です。えっと僕の質問はあの今言ってた通りあの今の時代はあのライフは未,未来へのその来世のテスト。と言ってたんですけどなぜそのテストをするんですかでそして何のために天国を作ったのでしょうかはいありがとうございます<笑> My name is Nishikawa I'm a student from university、uh, My only question is Why, this, why human beings have to go to test for hereafter and why there is a hereafter? Here, why hereafter is, exists?、Uh, uh, you told that this life is a test for hereafter. Why there is a test for hereafter? The brother asked the question that I said there was a test for the year after, so why is there a year after? Normally, when we appear for an examination, after we pass the examination, we get a reward. So, if you pass, you get a reward. If you fail, you don't get a reward. So, similarly, this life, as I mentioned, is a test for the year after, according to Surah Mulk, chapter number 16, verse number 2. It says, It's Almighty God who has created. Get a reward by going into paradise in the year after. If you don't follow the commandments and you fail the test, then you get a punishment by going to hell. And this is the concept in most of the religion that if you pass, 
you go to paradise, heaven. If you fail, you go to hell. Hope that's all. Uh, so, uh, sorry. So my question is like, uh, why God uh, creates heaven? Why don't you ask in English directly? It's better. <laughs> Why don't you ask the question in English directly? Okay, sorry. Uh, ask, speak in English directly. Okay. Uh, why God creates heaven? To give you reward. Why, why heaven exists? God created heaven and hell. If you follow his commandment, he gives you a reward. For example, for example, if your child listens to you, give him a chocolate and you give him a reward. Correct? So heaven is a reward for the human beings who follow his commandments. And hell is a punishment for the human beings who don't follow his commandment. So he has created heaven and hell both. <coughs> so if you follow his commandment and you obey the law, you go to heaven, that is paradise. In paradise, whatever you desire, you'll get. You know, here you have to struggle, etc. There, everything is peaceful and you enjoy. Till eternity. Forever. Hope that answers the question. Okay, thank you very much. Do you want to go to heaven? Yeah, sure. Do you want to go to heaven? Uh, no, 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 no. Heaven. <laughs> thank you very much. Do you want to go to heaven? Yeah, heaven. heaven or hell? Heaven. Heaven. Yeah. Heaven. So do you believe in one God? Yes, yeah, sure. Do you believe in one God? Yeah. One God you believe? Do you believe in one God? One God, yeah, Allah. Yes, you believe that? <laughs> do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Do you believe yeah. that Prophet Muhammad, he is the messenger of God? Ah, uh, yes, sure. You believe? Yeah. There are, there are two things required. There are two things required for anyone to become a Muslim. Number one, you have to believe that there is one God creator, the Allah. Yeah. And we have to believe that Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So if you believe in these two things, you become a Muslim. You enter the school of Muslim. These are the two main kinds. Other things are later on. If you believe in these two things, you can join Islam, become a Muslim, and later on keep on following. And inshallah, we will pray that you go to heaven. So would you like... Would you like to become a Muslim? Would you like to become a Muslim? Mm, yes, yes, but Would you say it in Arabic, what we said in English now, that there is one God, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God. Would you like to say it in Arabic? You know what I said in English now? <laughs> Ask in Japanese, does he believe that there is one God? Islam is a Muslim, and he is a Muslim. 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 He is a that's it. Don't add. <laughs> Don't add. You will spoil everything. <laughs> Ask him, do you believe in one God? Ask him. Kami wo shinjimasu ka? In Japanese? <laughs> do you believe in one God, Allah? Do you believe? Hano, kami sama shitotsu to yukoto ga shinjimasu ka? Hi. Yes. Hi. Yes. <laughs> Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of this God? Yes. yes. Okay, now, would you like to say it in Arabic? In Arabic? Ah, uh, yes. Okay? Is anyone forcing you? Arabic, you can repeat it. 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 Arabic
محمد is the messenger the messenger and and servant servant, servant of allah of allah mashallah you have become muslim and i told you not to i pray to allah for i request the organizers that if they can give a japanese translation of the quran to the brother and i pray to almighty god that may he give you more guidance mm. and put you in yeah. jannah so that we too can meet in jannah inshallah we will, we will meet in jannah i request the organizer that if you can take his name and phone number so that you can be in touch can you shake it and if you have any questions you're most welcome to ask any muslim organization here mm. you can write the email to me also you're most welcome and i pray to allah that may he give guidance to you and put in jannah inshallah oh yeah yeah sir that that sir sikna jaise ja hone ka is ah mala akshay rita hai sorry and i told you can check it to you sir please are you able to do that are you able to do that はい、皆さんにあの、ご紹介をあの、撮影、動画はできるだけお避けください。あの、撮影カメラ、動画はできるだけあの、お避けください。あの、じゃあ次のあの、ネクスト、この方よろしくお願いします。名前と簡単なバ
それからアンナー以外にアンナー以外の名が唱えられてものそれからアンナー以外のものに捧げられた肉は禁じられているとポーキーズ also prohibited in the Bible in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 14 verse number 8 in the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse number 5 as well as book of Leviticus chapter number 11 verse 7 and 8 wow three places mentioned <laughs> です。医学用語わかりません。医学用語わかりません。医学用語わかりません。医学用語わかりません。Even if you cook the food very well, the ova does not die.、Mm. The, egg, the egg, while the bloodstream can go to the brain and cause brain damage.、Mm. It can go to the eye and cause eye blindness. It can go to the eye and cause eye blindness. Which year medical college are you in? Which year? First, second, third. Which year is she studying in? Medical college. Are you a doctor? Are you a doctor? She has already graduated. She finished. She finished. Ah, so we learned in、years. medical college about tinea trichuraces. It is a worm that stays in the human body and causes damage. Today, science tells us that when you have pork, it has more of fat building material than muscle building material. Fat building. The pork has got fat building material. And that's the reason you have atherosclerosis. You know, atherosclerosis? In Japanese, I think for atherosclerosis, it's atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis means. A fat is deposited on the vessels of the blood vessels.、Mm. Oh, Atherosclerosis. It's a medical word. Donyaku koka. Donyaku koka. And you have hypertension. Hypertension, high blood pressure. By having pork. Mashallah, you understand.、Huh? And that's the reason people, people who eat pork have got a lot of tires, you know, a lot of fat. まま、and today, science tells us that the pig stays in dirt and filth. It eats dirt and filth. It's a filthy animal. And it's the only animal that enjoys seeing its wife, its mate, having sex with the friend. It's a shameless animal. Most shameless animal on the face of the earth. ニュースのその地球上における唯一の動物として自分の伴侶が、パートナーが他のものオスとあの交尾をして喜んでいるというような恥ずかしいものを好む。These are the few reasons why we Muslims don't have pork. それゆえにムスリムは豚肉を食べ
Ashadu Ashada Allah Allah Ilaha Ilaha Illallah Illallah Wa Ashadu Wa Ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadan Muhammadan Abduhu Abduhu Wa Rasuluhu Wa Rasuluhu I bear witness I bear bear I bear witness I bear witness that that there is that is no god no god but allah but allah and prophet muhammad and prophet muhammad is the messenger is the messenger and servant and servant 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 of allah of allah mashallah you become takbir allah akbar takbir takbir allah akbar Inshallah, pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala that may He give you more hidayah and may He grant you Jannah. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala through you, let your family members and your friends and many people, Jabir, 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 あ、早川よしおいと申します。教師をしています。早川。ええー、私はえっ、ー、とイスラムムスリムではないですが、イスラム教には多くの共感を持っています。But I feel a lot of sympathy towards I I feel a lot of sympathy towards Islam。そこで一つ教えていただきたいことがあるんです。えっ、ー、と、えー、もし。大規模な戦争が起これば核兵器が必ず使われ、えー、核の浮遊等により人類が滅亡するのではないかと多くの人たちが心配しています、はい、続けてくださいそれで、えー、と核拡散今年の核,散核拡散防止条約では、えー多くの国が核兵器の禁止に賛成しましたが、核兵器を持っている国はみんな反対しました。えー、結論が出なく、誘拐になってしまいました。えっと、質問のポイントをお願いします。はい、それで、この問題に対するイスラムの立場からのご意見と、そのご意見のもとになったクルアンないしハディースの、えー、書いてある場所、箇所を教えてください。あえー、とこのこの核,核兵器禁止に関するイスラムの立場とこの根拠になった、えー、クルアンないしハディースの書いてある場所を教えてください。はい、ありがとうございます。The brothers posed the question <coughs> that today, after science has advanced, we have nuclear weapon, and nuclear weapon causes mass destruction. And many countries got together but did not come to a conclusion that we should stop having nuclear weapon. He wants to know where does the Quran or Hadith say that not to use nuclear weapon? Is the question. Yes. yes. Point number one. Yes. Point number one. All these countries coming together and telling others don't make nuclear weapon. All these are superpowers. They make their nuclear weapon themselves and then tell others not to make. First, what they should do is destroy the weapon they have and then ask others not to make. It is hypocrisy. The big superpowers, America and all, they have their nuclear weapon. They make nuclear weapon and tell others not to make. It is double standards. If they really don't want any country to have nuclear weaponry, first they should destroy their nuclear weaponry. They, all the countries that have nuclear bomb should destroy the nuclear bomb and come together and say that there should be no nuclear weaponry, then I'll agree. 
they want to maintain their nuclear weaponry and tell others not to make so that they can bully them. This is double standard. And the worst attack, the biggest terrorist attack in humanity on anyone was on Japan in Hiroshima on the 6th of August 1946, where more than 350,000 human beings were affected. A few hundred thousand human beings died in a few minutes. This was the worst attack on human being. I call it the biggest terrorist attack. Done by whom? Done by USA. Done by America. Talking about peace. They are not doing war for peace. They are doing war on peace. See you in Nihongo ni Can I translate? はい、え、核を持たない、え、共に書かない、核を持たない理由という条約を結ぶにあたって、それがあの結論を見ず、お腹になってしまったという話ですけれども、その上で、あの、イスラムの立場をまた、コラーンやハディスの天気を教えても
あの、ギリシャ神話とかいうのは結構ですから。ただですね、私はあの、神が一人はいいと思うんですが、あの、あの、ま、マホメットが最後の預言者というのはちょっと問題があって、新しい預言者が必要になるのではないかと考えています。あ、he says, he says I New, new prophet, new prophet mo, after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What what is missing in this book? If everything is there, if this book has the solution for humanity, why do you want something new? Something new is required if this particular book doesn't fulfill the requirement. Jinryu,の解決策すべてがある一つのそのコラントという本にすでにあるとしたら、それ以上何をお求めになるのでしょうか。例えば核兵器で全滅するとか、太陽があの赤色と性になって赤色の生物が全滅するとか、そういう新しい科学的知識はクラーンにもハディースにも書いてありません。あ、I uh, think I gave an example of Surah Hadith. It talks about weapon in general. See, when I say weapon includes everyone, after nuclear weapon, there's something else will come. It talks about all weapons together. It is nonsense to then they have to knife, then revolver, then rifle, then machine gun, then la la la. The book will be so big. Weapon includes everyone. Hikmah, intelligent. コラーンは全て、ロールのユエンミ、ライティングエブリティ、ナイフ、レボルバー、ブラブラブラブラ、ベイボー。コラーンはあくまでも非常に それ、鉄兵器ですから、様々なものがありうるわけですね。ナイフですとか、銃ですとか、え、核兵器。<笑> It is for intelligent people. Quran says this book is for those who understand, those who are intelligent. Quran自身が言っております。この章は考える人たちへのメッセージだと訓戒であるということで、あくまでもその章とか近道を送るということです。Any human being, it doesn't say if you kill Chinese, Japanese, Singaporean, Malaysian, Indonesian, Indian, Pakistani, American, big book. Any human being, wrong. わざわざ国名を挙げてですね、え、アメリカの人、パキスタンの人、インドの人という、その国名、どこの国の人たちにとっての道人というのはなくて、人でアメリカの人、ナス、人であれば誰であれ、とっても導き出るということを言っているわけ
、えー、水沼ミキ、えー、都内に住む会社員です。ミキ水沼、uh, stay in Tokyo、uh, employee in the an employee at the company。皆さんの質問と被ってしまうので急遽変えました。えっと、アラブ諸国と、まあ、欧米とかなんですが、まあ、文化とか生活習慣の違いによるイメージの違いでこうやはりなかなかこう溝ができていると思うんですがお互いが近づくためにはどのような努力をすればいいのかどの、えー、お考えのことがあったら教えていただければと思います。I, I would like to ask, listen to your opinion of、uh, bringing people together closer、uh, in better way. Who are they? The, those, those who are in the Middle East, East area and the Japan or West area. In Middle East and West, and people in the West or Japan or the other side, and it, it seems like people are all divided in two valets, different valets or something. So they, they're having different images against each other. So how could we bring, bring them together closer, closer? This is also a very good question that how can we get different people together? The Western, the Eastern, the Middle East people, how can we get? And the reply I gave in my speech, Allah says in Surah Hujurah, chapter 49, verse number 13, Ya ayyuan nasu inna khalaqnaakum in zakin wa unsa wa jalnaakum, shu'uba wa kaba ila litarafu, inna kamuk min dalla yatkaakum, inna la alimun khabir. O humankind, we have created you from a single pair of male and female. And have divided you into nations and tribes so that you shall recognize each other, not that you shall despise each other. And the most honored in the sight of Almighty God is the person of Taqwa. Can you translate this? Yes, yes. Thank you very much. I'm going to ask you 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 我は何時らを一人の男と一人の女から作り、部族と種族とに分けた、お互いに知り合うためである、お互いに下げ詰め合うためではなく、知り合うためである、誠に唯一の,その神,の神の身元において、最も尊き人は、神を最も恐れ敬う人、神は本当にすべてを知り、すべてに通行なさるお方と。And this was says that all the human beings have one common great great grandparent, Adam and Eve. So we are children. Of the same great great parents, Allah has made us, and Allah says again in Surah Luqman chapter 31, verse 21, He has made us into different colors and different languages. And all the languages and colors are beautiful. So that we may recognize each other, not that we may fight each other. So, the other one is the Luqman show. The Luqman great grandparent. Yes, yes. 私たち人,人類が共通の祖先を持っていると最初の人間アダムとそのアダムとエエのイブですねア,アラビア語ではアダムとエヴァあのハウワーというんですけども共通の祖先を持っているということで人類みんな兄弟であるということが断言できるわけでしてで、えー、ルクマン朝というコアンの一節にありますけれども神は人々をさまざまな色,色に分けたけれども。それは神の見印の一つであると。And the only way all the human beings can be united is believing in one common creator, Almighty God. If all the human beings, whether they were living in Middle East, in Western country, Eastern country, Japan, Saudi Arabia, America, we believe our creator is the same Almighty God, then only can we all be united under one banner. ですから人が人間がたとえどこに住んでいようとどんなバックグラウンドを抱いていようとも唯一の神を信じることでお互いに歩み寄ることができ共に歩んでいけるようになるわけです。I would like to give an example that if you have a common boss, you know, in Japan if you have a company and that company has employees from different parts of the world, all believe in the common boss so they have uniform civil code, correct? They have a uniform code. Same way, If you believe in one common creator, Almighty God, all of us will be united and we'll have allegiance to one power only, Almighty God. So we will do the same thing. Like if the company, the boss of the company is same, he may have branches in, you know, Sony, big company. They have got branch in India, in, in America, in UK, many parts. They have got employees. All the employees follow the code. So whatever the boss says, they have to follow. So if we agree that our creator, our Almighty God is one, Majority of our problems will be solved, and we have to follow the rule He has laid down. And the rule Almighty God 
has given to the human beings in the Quran. The Quran is the last and final revelation given to the last and final messenger, which is the future world constitution. It's a common code. Tatoeba.会社大きな大会社をイメージしてください。日本ソニーでもいいでしょう。世界中に死者のあるような、アメリカであったりどうしてあったり、様々なところに死者があるような。社長は一人ですね。ですからその社長の一人の指示のもとに、例えば制服が
それをちょっとどうしてシャハーダが必要なのかというのを教えていただきたいと思います。My question is before that she, he said I do believe in one God and I do believe that the Muhammad is the last messenger of God そのままでありませんね。Uh, so the question is, what is the necessity of taking shahada? Because in the world, there are many Muslims who have gone through taking shahada. Many of them are good, but at the same time, many of them are not good. And also, in this, at the same time, there are many Japanese who have not taken any shahada. However, they are very good. So, what is the necessity of sh taking shahada? The brother asked a very good question. What is the necessity of taking shahada? Point number one that if you believe there is one God, and if you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God, peace be upon him, you're already a Muslim. You don't have to say in public. Oh, It's right. between you and Allah. Okay, Correct? Right. So, if you take halas, you're a Muslim. <laughs> but, 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 yeah. I personally prefer that if you tell others, it's easy for you to practice. Time for salah. If no one knows, then maybe today you say, okay, I'll miss my salah, no problem. If you tell, it is better. It's easy for you to practice. If you think by telling your life is in danger, then don't tell. But if your life is not in danger, better you tell because it becomes easy for you to practice. If they know you're a Muslim, then they'll tell you, okay, come for salah. If they don't know, they will not tell you. If you're a Muslim, they say, yeah, salam alaikum. Peace be on you. If you hide, how will we come to know? So telling is better, so that it's easy for you to practice and easy for us to help you and you to help us. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, I'm, uh, but, uh, <laughs> you that. Mm -hmm. You understood? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, he understood. But Therefore, if you don't tell anyone, suppose the time for salah. If I don't know you're a Muslim, how will I call you? Now, when you come to Salah, in, if you pray in congregation prayer, you get 27 times more blessing. If you pray alone, you get less blessing. Sorry, someone else is talking about it. Hi. Translate the first thing also. Yes. You are told that the Lord is the Lord, and the Lord is the Lord, and the Lord is the Lord. あの唯一の神の使徒であるということを信じておられるならばすでにあなたはもうムスリムですもうそれは唯一の神とあなたの間のこととして、えー、もうすでにもうことはなっているとですけれども私先生曰く個人的には他の人にもあなたがムスリムであることを伝えてもらった方があなたにとってより今後ムスリムとして生きていく上で実践しやすくなるはずです大きな助けとなるんじゃないでしょうかともしそれを伝えていなかったならば例えば礼拝時間が来ても怠け心が頭をもたげてきた時にそれをあの逃してしまいかねないですけども周りに同胞がいてあなたがムスリムであるということを知っていたならば、えー、礼拝に誘ってくれたりですとかさまざまな助けを差し伸べてくれるでしょうということで、えー、あなたが今後もしとはいえもしあなたが生きていく生活していく上で、えー、そのシハーダ信仰告白することが問題を起こしかねないということであればそれはあなたにお任せしますけどもそうでないならば、えー、伝えることを伝えて何が悪いんでしょうかとむしろあなたの助けにならずしそうすることで私たちもあなたを助けしたいしあなたにも私たちもを助けてもいただきたいと。The brother asked a very good question that some Japanese become Muslim, say the Shada, some practice, some don't practice. I agree with you. I agree with you totally. Now, suppose there are ten Japanese who come to ask question. And I request them to say shahada. If they don't say shahada, 100% help. Mm -hmm. If they say shahada, 50% go back, 50% stay. Alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. So at least 50% chance he will go to heaven. I'm doing a favor for him. Mm -hmm. People tell me, why do you force? I'm not forcing. I'm coaxing. I'm requesting. Why I'm requesting? <laughs> because I know, because I love you. Yeah, thank you. I wanted to go to Jannah. If I don't, on the day of judgment, God will ask me, why didn't you request this Japanese brother to say the Shada? Oh. Correct? So when I'm saying the chances you will be 50%, even 25%, no problem. Better than 0%. If I don't say, you will continue, okay, I believe in our God, I believe in Mamma, don't believe, you go and you don't, you don't practice, you don't pray Salah. Now when you say Shada, 
slowly, slowly it increased. Okay, now I've said the Shahada, so some Muslim will come and say, okay, why don't you offer Salah? They start offering Salah. After a few days, okay, why don't you give charity? Why don't you help others? So by saying Shahada, I do agree with you. 50% may go back, no problem. At least 50% will stay. If 50% I'm saving you from hellfire, Alhamdulillah, on the day of judgment, you'll thank me if you say the Shahada. You'll thank me. Translate. あの、今関さん、先ほど関さんが日本人にも社派新興国家を失いにもかかわらずたくさんいい人がたくさんいると言われました。おっしゃる通りです。でも私がしているのは何も新興国家を強制しようとしているのではなくてお願いしているわけであ
、えー、4つの条件を満たさないと天国には行けません例えばマザー・テレサのような非常にチャリティーに多く励まれた素晴らしい人がおられましたけども、えー、コロアーンの第103章にあるように思考の唯一の神様が言っておられますが時にかけて誠に人間は喪失の中にあるただただ信じて良い行いをしお互いに真理を進め合いお互いに辛抱を進め合う者たち以外はと言われているように信仰良い善行それから真理を他の人たちをいざないかけることまた辛抱へといざないかけることという条件を満たさないと、えー、天国入りはできないと。For example, I may appear for ten standard. There are six subjects compulsory to pass English, history, geography, science, six subjects. I pass in five. In maths, I get ten out of hundred fail. Will I pass the standard ten? 例えば大学入試の試験があります、えー、6教科必須の教科としてあったとしましょう、えー、歴史や数学やあの国語や英語ですとかで6のうち6のうち5科目までは100点満点ですでも1科目数学だけはうまくできませんでしたそしたら入試合格するでしょうかしないと思います No, he, he wouldn't get success. That's that the reason all four are required. Only good deeds is not suffering. Iman, saying Shahada is one of the things. Then good deeds, then exhorting people to truth. So only Shahada is not sufficient. But if you take the Shahada, the chances are high. If you don't take Shahada, the chances are zero. So this is. えー、あくまでも4つ、善行だけでは不十分で、信仰があって善行して、お互いに信仰を進め合って、信仰を進めということが必要なわけなので、えー、信仰告白をすれば、うまくいく、天国入りのチャンスが、確率が高まるということなわけで、信仰告白しないでいれば、そのチャンスは、確率は低いままということになるわけです。確率が低いということはいいいけないこともないいやいや、ごめんなさい、あのそれは私の語訳でした、いけないわけです。もう一つ、シャハードしてもやっぱり良くない人間はいっぱいいますね。あの自分、仕事柄、多くのムスリムとそれにあの<笑>会いますけども、いい人間も本当にたくさんいます。あの正直、リスペクトしてます、ムスリムを。ただ、良くない人間もいますね。ただ、自分が思うには、ムスリムは確かにいいけども、悪い。日本人もいい人もいれば悪い人もいる。まあ、ただの何というか、人間ですよね。その人間なわけで、そのシャハードをすれば、えー、きあきそうい、えー、天国へ行けるというのはどういうことなのかなっていうのをちょっと教えていただきたいなと思います。<笑>同じ質問されてませんか。ああすみません。Is <笑> he still sucking around? The he still he still saying that those who have taken shahada among Muslims there are good and there are not good ones. I agree. He is because I am dealing with that many of them. Correct. Which is my business. I agree with him. Yes, and among Japanese non-Muslims there are many good people. So, so, 自分の質問のポイントが、その悪、悪よくない、ムスリム、チャーハダした後に、やっぱりよくない人たちもいるのも確かなんですけども、はい、その人たちも天国に行けるっていうことかっていう質問ですね。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。They shall not enter Jannah unless Allah forgives them. If okay, Allah wants to forgive it, otherwise, normal circumstances, they will not go to Jannah. 基本的には先ほど申し上げた4つの信仰と善行と真の進め合いと真の進め合い。But Allah is merciful, can forgive them if they have the ticket. 
can forgive. As Allah says in Surah Nisa chapter 4, 48 and Surah Nisa chapter 4, 116. If Allah pleases, he may forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk, of associating partners with God, he will never forgive. というに条件を満たさない限り基本的には天国には無スリムというのも入れません。ただし、一つ例外を除いてはですね、それは唯一の神様は許してくだされば、そういったいわゆる悪いムスリムでも入れます。で、その欲聞いてください。これはあの中に
何ですかあの名前だけのムスリムにはならないでくださいと深刻学をした以上これからさらに良きムスリムとなられる,なられることを期待してますありがとうございますインシャーラインシはい。I have a question about. <laughs> I have been wondering why, what's the purpose of God, God's, God's creation of human being? What, what does He need for us? And I watched YouTube your, on your lecture, and you said, you answered that we all chose to be human. But before that, why God created human? As an option for us. Got it. Got it. Very good question. The sister said that what is the purpose of our creation in this world and why did God create human being? Human being is one of the best creations of God. All the other creation, for example, angel. Angels always obey God. Whatever He says they obey, they have no option but to obey 100%. We human beings, Almighty God gave a free will. You can either obey, Or you can disobey. So we are a different creation. Yes. That means all, all the other creation obey our God 100%. We human beings have an option of obeying or disobeying. Now, angels pass. Mountain is Muslim pass. And human beings have two options. If we obey after free will, we become superior than the angel. Okay. After free will, if you obey, you become superior than the angel. After free will, if you disobey, then you become like the Satan. So, Almighty God asked, Who wants to become a human being? The Quran says, We were fool. The teacher says, No examination, I'll just give you pass 40 out of 100. Those who appear for examination can get 95, can get 60, can get 10. Correct? Those who don't appear for examination just pass 40%. We were fools, the Quran says. Mm -hmm. We wanted to get high marks. Okay, I'm appearing. If you know your subject well, what will you say to the teacher? No, 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 40. I want 90. Mm -hmm. So we were fools that we opted for the choice. Mm -hmm. Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter 7, verse 172, that Allah got the lawyer from Adam, alayhi salam, peace be upon him, got all the children asked, Who is God? We agree there's one God. Then the memory was washed. Even teacher teaches you, you have the textbook. But during the examination, the textbook is taken, correct? Yes. You can't have the textbook and sit with the examination. Then where's the test? Mm -hmm. So we agreed. The mountains were afraid. We human beings now, what is the purpose? The reply is given in Surah Waqiyah. Chapter number 56. Chapter 51, verse 56. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ that it is Almighty God who created the man and the jinn, not but to worship him. So our main purpose in life is worshipping God. Worshipping God means obey him. Mm -hmm. Worship doesn't mean only prayer. Prayer is one type of worship. But if you obey the commandment of God, you are doing worship. Almighty God says, don't kill other innocent human beings. You don't kill. You are doing worship. Almighty God says, love your wife. If you love your wife, then you are doing ibadah, you are doing worship. Mm. Almighty God says, you have to respect your parents. If you respect your parents, you are doing ibadah, you are worshipping Almighty God. So that is the reason, if we have a common code, as the sister asked earlier, if we have a common rule, all will be peaceful. All will love the parents, all will love their wife, no one will. So then that is the only way peace can be in the world. Somebody else says, why to spend money on your parents, they have become old, put them in old age home. This is not commandment of creator. This is commandment of Shaitan, Satan. Oh, why you want to help your neighbor? Quran says, Surah Maud, help your neighbor. 
If you don't help, help your neighbor, you're not a Muslim. The Prophet said, he is not a Muslim. He is not a Muslim. He is not a believer. Unless the neighbor is safe from him. Means if the neighbor is afraid of me, I am not a Muslim. The neighbor can be a non-Muslim. The Prophet said, if you sleep with your tummy full and your neighbor sleeps, sleeps hungry, you are not a Muslim. If I have my proper dinner and sleep and my neighbor doesn't have dinner, he may be a non-Muslim. I'm not a good Muslim. Yes, I understand. But before that, why human is the option for us? Human or angels? I we chose. I gi no, I gave you an example. Teacher is saying to the full class, if you don't appear for examination, 40 out of 100. If you appear, you can get 90 out of 100, 95 out of 100, 50 can get 10 also. Do you understand? Teacher is giving an option. If you don't appear for examination, 40 marks, just pass. You know, 40 is the minimum for passing. Mm. So if you don't appear for examination, just pass. If you appear, you can get 90, can get 95, can get 70, can get 40, can get 30, can get 10, can get 0. Mm -hmm. So we human beings opted. That's what the Quran says. We were fools. Do you understand? Yeah, I trust, right? Do you understand? I understand, I understand. But our memory is washed away. Yes. On the day of judgment, again the memory will come back. Hmm. So we, this life, sister, is a test for the hereafter. As I told earlier, Allah says in Surah Mul, chapter number 67, verse number 2, Allah di khalakal mauta or hayata. It is God who has created death and life to test which of you is good indeed. In this test, what is happening? God is giving you children. Your children are test for you. God is giving you wealth. Do you give charity? If you don't give charity, means you're not a good human being. Yes. So all these are test sisters. The wealth, your parents, your wives, your children. So if you follow the commandments of God, you pass and you get 90, 95. I understand. Maybe you get 60. Yeah. But if you get below 40, then your choice was wrong. Mm -hmm. Then you go to hell. Do you understand? But, yeah, I understand. But why the test exists? Why God made the test? Yeah. He gave a free will. He a free will, sister. That's the test. Free will. You are. But why God prepared the test? Ah. As I choose. Why he prepared? Fine. Why did the teacher prepare the test for the students? To give them certificate, pass or fail. Correct. Mm -hmm. Do you go to college? Yes. Yes. When you go to college, teacher gives test. Why? Yes. So if you do good, they'll give you excellent. Distinction, first class, second class, correct? Yes. So, so you have to ask the teacher, why, why are you giving me test teacher? Because only by test can she tell you whether you have got 80 marks, 90 marks, 70 marks, 50 marks. You understand? Mm, yeah. So this is the test sister we are undergoing. And in the test, what you try to do? You try and follow the rules and regulations of the textbook, correct? Right. When you are appearing for a mathematics test or a science test, yeah. you read the science textbook. And what is mentioned the boy's law, this law is there, Newton's law. You study and you implement. Same way, the textbook for living our life is only one textbook. Small, no? See, nursery first standard to 12th standard, so many books. There's only one book. Yes. One book and another few hadith. About 12,000 hadith. This and that put together, khala, full life textbook. So if you read this and you implement this, Inshallah, you will pass. Maybe 80, maybe 90, maybe 95. Correct, sister? Mm. But why, what does God benefit from the test? Ah, very good. Very good question. New question. <laughs> <laughs> what does God benefit? Very good question. Mm. For example, I say, Allah Akbar. Allah is great. What does God benefit? By me saying Allah Akbar, Allah is, Allah cannot become greater, he is already the greatest. He cannot become greater. Whether I praise him or not. Why? What does Allah I'll tell you? Quran says in Surah Anam, Quran says Surah Anfal, that it is Allah who is free of all bonds. It is we human beings who benefit. For example, for example. Now, suppose your mother has a heart attack. And one person you know, he is a famous doctor, very famous. He gives advice. 
and another common man on the street gives you advice. Which advice will you follow for your mother? The heart specialist or a common man? If your mother has a heart attack. お母さんが、あの、なんですか、え、心臓病になってしまって、え、同居とまってなんですか、あの、心臓患者だと、その時に心臓外科医の専門家に頼るか、それとも一般の人に頼るかどちらですか。ドクター。ドクター、ハートス
So we can make out, mashallah, when the truth comes, the person is overfilled with joy. So would you like to say in Arabic, sister? あ、シャドゥ。全然ビデオで見てる。ノブ。エンドファストでも見てる。ノブ。アシャドゥ。アシャドゥ。アシャドゥ。アシャドゥ。アシャドゥ。アシャドゥ。アシャドゥ。アシ
、えー、神の命に従うか従わないかのテストを受けているということでしてでじゃあ神様は人間がその神に従うことで何,か何らかのメリットを得るのかといえば決してそんなことはありません例えばあの神の偉大さを称える上で私たちムスリムはその賛美賛美を唱えます「アンラーフ・アクバル」「アンラーイズ・グレイティス」「アンラーこそ最も偉大なお方」とでもそれによって神様はさらに偉大なお方になるでしょうかいえもうすでに偉大なのでそれ以上偉大さが増すことはありませんで他,他もしかりであくまでもメリットを得るのは私たち人間なわけですということで、えー、神様が何かメリットを得るわけではないのですであくまでも、えー、じゃあどうなのかといえば人間も含めて被造物は神の被造物神が作られた存在なので人間がその神に従ってそして天国に入れるなれば喜ばれますこれは間違いなく喜ばれますですけれども直接的なメリットを得るわけではないと<笑>納得していただきましたかって言うんですけど<笑>、so、she about the answer. 納得していただきましたかあはい、yes Thank you very much yes. Sister, do you believe there's one God? <笑><笑>、uh, yes <笑> believe. Believe. Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? 信じられますか、はい、でモハンマド様が神様の最後の人だということを信じられますかはい、うん、Do you believe Prophet Muhammad? Yes, yeah, I know She said yes <笑> So, sister, would you like to become a Muslim like your other sister? Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. Do you believe in the Bible? Yes, I believe in the Bible. 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 あまり宗教的なことではなくて政治的な話で申し訳ないんですけれども。あのムスリムの国づくりについての話を少し伺いたいと思っています。I apologize that my question is not directly relating to religious issues, but rather relating to political issues. And now I would like to ask you the,、uh, how Muslims try to establish their state, their country. <coughs> well, the question is that how do the Muslims try to establish They state the country. We want to follow the commandment of Almighty God. If where we stay, we are able to implement the commandment of God, this is the constitution of the Muslims. If we can use this in any country, if we can implement the commandment of God and the authentic hadith, that becomes the Islamic state. If everyone follows this law, what is mentioned in the Quran, And the authentic hadith, that becomes a state which is called the Islamic state. Muslims are the state of 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 the What we find in the media, people talking about, you know, I'm doing jihad, I'm doing Islamic State, all is not correct. If it matches with the Quran, it is correct. If it doesn't match, it's not correct. Many a time we are misguided by the media. あくまでもコロナの預言者の原稿録に従って初めて正しくイスラムの国になり得るわけです。質問に続きがあったんですが、どうぞどうぞえー、はい。とそのイスラム国なんですけれども、あのやり方はもうムスリムのそれではないとして、動機がそんなに間違ってたように思えないんですけれども、あのスニ派の方々ですか、あの政治的に抑圧されていて、まああの。うん正義の観点から言えば国を作っても許されるような立場にはあったのではないかと思うのですが
もしイスラム国というのがあのようなあのムスリムが祝福しないようなやり方ではなくコアラに基づいて国づくりをしたとしたらそれは私たちは祝福するべきだったということでしょうか私たちあらムスリムの方ですかあムスリムでなくてもあはいはい He says, I wasn't actually finished my question, but I have a following、uh, regarding a、uh, state called IS, Islamic State. The, the, I understood that their way, their methodology is wrong, not Islamic way. However, their、uh, intention, the intent purpose of establishing such state wasn't、uh, really wrong to me. Because they have been under the pressure, under the to- tortures, and you know, under the evil di- treatments and everything. So, if, if only if they had been established their country according to、uh, following the Quran and Sunnah,、uh, wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it be appropriate for us, all of us, including Muslims and non Muslims, to bless their acts? The brother said that what we see about IS and ISIS, they aren't following Quran and Sunnah, maybe they have been, they have been persecuted. But if they follow Quran and Sunnah, it's correct. I said, anyone who follows Quran and Sunnah correctly, he's on the state path. But what we see in the media, we don't know whether it's right or wrong. I don't trust the media. But if the information we get that if any Muslim kills any innocent human being, it is totally prohibited. Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse 32 that anyone kills any other human being, whether Muslim or non Muslim, it is killed all of humanity. So, what news we get, we don't know. But if they are killing innocent human beings, it is not an Islamic state. Because, because Almighty God prohibited the Muslims from killing any innocent human being. Do you understand? I said a story on this, but Moshi. もしそのどんな集団であれコルアンと正しい預言者の伝承原稿録に従って国づくりしたならばそれは私たちが祝福すべき存在となるわけですが基本的に私たちはメディアで見聞きするようなものは、まあ、メディアを信用しないですけれども、えー、人,人,あ人を殺めるものはあたかも全人類を殺めたに等しいと先ほどもあの引用しましたコルアンの第5章32節にありますように。えー、そのような間違ったやり方でやっている限り、決して、えー、祝福された国とは言えません。ありがとうございます。Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much. Next question. 次の質問どうぞ。今日はありがとうございます。Thank you very much for today. ね、お名前をあ、えー、と東京都から山田千夏と言います千夏山田さん東京、はい、ご所属はあご所属は所属は東京に住んでますあ,あいやいやあのお勤め会社員の方ですかあ会社員ですあ、はい、あ She's also an employee at company. はいえー、と先ほどのお話を聞いていてとても分かりやすかったです。ありがとうございます。It was very、uh, plain to understand, so thank you very much for that. My pleasure. 全人類に向けて、えーとまあ、25人の使徒、うん、と使徒あと125人の預言者、そして100人の使徒を使わされて、えー、と神は全人,全人類を救いたくて、えー、慈悲。を持って見てくださっているということだったと思うんですけれども、歴史を見ると、千年以内にはそういう預言者などが出ていたと思われます。えー、これから先、まあ、ムハンマドが亡くなられてから1400年経ってると思うんですけれども、今、あの先ほどもありましたように、核戦争が起きそうとか、あの人々が必ずしも幸福だと言えるような世界ではないと思います。でその中で神はどのようにこれからの地球をお作りになろうとお導きになろうと思われているのか教えていただければと思います。よろしくお願いします。はい、えー、ちなみにあの125人ではなく1万2500人と伝承ではあるという話ですので、ね、伝承しておきます。え、she was saying that the、uh, I enjoyed very much of the, your explanation that Almighty God has sent 25 named prophets,、uh, the messengers, and other、uh, 125 servants 
uh, messengers in, in tradition and others. Uh, however, those prophets and messengers have been sent and worked hard to, to make betterment in the world in before a thousand years. So after the past, after the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam passing away, uh, now we are facing in the world of difficulties, a lot of challenges, having nuclear weapons and so on. Uh, human beings are in danger. So my question is, what uh, would you please tell me what God intends to uh, bring the people, bring the humankind to us? The sister has a very good question that Almighty God sent several messengers, 124,000. Last Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. In the last 1400 years, many changes have taken place. Now war is taking place, nuclear weapon is taking place. What is God now planning? What, what does he want to do? What you have to Almighty God knows what is going to happen in the future. So all this he predicted in the Hadith. If you read the sayings of the Prophet, how the world is going to end has been predicted that people will make tall buildings and they will compete with each other now you know the tallest building is in Dubai, Burj Khalifa second tallest Makkah Tower, now one more is coming all these predictions are there so, all, so that's the reason new messenger is not required what's going to happen is already mentioned in the Quran and the Sahih Hadith and even the solution is there it says that again again when what will happen it says that the Muslims should be on the truth the full world will be against us. We know that. So, this, these are predictions given. We don't require a new messenger because Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger, peace be upon him. And all the guidance required for the human beings is already there in the Quran. What we have to do is we have to follow the Quran. Irrespective of what happens in the world, good, bad or ugly, we have to follow the Quran and we are undergoing our test. God will not ask us, why are the other people killing? God will ask you, did you kill? No. Did you try and stop them? Yes. So we have to follow the guidance of the Quran, the Sayyidi, to pass in this test. Totemu wari ko istimon kudasai mashita. Desu ga, yuiz no kami wa, subete, ima okoru koto mo, mirai ni okoru koto mo, toki o koeta o kata desu kara, shitte orareta wake de. Desu no de, え、事実預言者ムハンマドとかえ、神は全てを知っておられて、正しく、あの、他の人たちが人を殺めたかではなくてあなたが人を殺めましたかと言えならば他の人たちが殺めようとしているのを止めようとしましたかはいと言えるように私たち自身が努力していきていくことなわけです。have you heard from your friends anything about Islam? Uh, a little. So what you have heard, do you like it? Whatever you have heard. Do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Yes. Yes? Do you believe there is one God? Yes, one God. Do you believe? Yes. 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 Do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Muhammad is the messenger of God. Do you believe? 
You believe? Hi. Yes. So these sisters are the two things for any human being to enter into the fall of Islam. These two things are major thing for anyone to become a Muslim. この2つだけが、この2つこそが、えー、イスラムの、えー、家といいますか、イスラム家族、イスラムの範疇にどんな人であれ入っていく上で欠かせない2つの要素なわけです。も,あもともとあのその2つは信じています。あ、はい。オリジナリー、I have already been believing in those two. So, Bill m a s h if you're believing, then I'm going to be already a Muslim. もうムスリムなわけですね。そうですね。Yes, I am Muslim. s t i l a Muslim. <laughs> But who? No, no. Did she become now or she? No, no. I think I'm Muslim. That's what I'm saying. So, what's the other thing? She has already been believing in those two. But、Good. I haven't taken the shahada. shahada. Would you like to take the shahada? I think I'm Muslim. I would think about it. No, if she believes these two things for so many years, for so many, now, now if you believe there is one God, if you believe Prophet Muhammad is a messenger, then you have to accept it and then go ahead. I believe that this is an issue of the distance between myself and my God. あの先生が言われたのはもうすでにこれまでにもうこの2つの基本的な点を信じてきてこられているのならば、えー、もう信仰告白をなさってあの、no, まあ、今ご自分でムスリムですと言ってくださったわけですから、信仰工学をきちっとされることで、より良いムスリムになる確率がぐっと高まるわけでして、でもそうでないと、その確率は約束されないですね。神が最終的にはジャッジを下してくださると思うので、信じます。それを信じます。Uh, I believe that the, the God would give me a judgment finally. Sure.、Uh, もちろんですね。So, inshallah, I pray that Allah gives you Hidayah. But if you are convinced, my question is that she is convinced, but there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. I am not sure if you are convinced, but there is one God and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Yes. If you believe in this, that means you are already a Muslim sister. Yes. But these two are the minimum things. If you believe in these two things, you are already a Muslim sister. Yes. But these two are the minimum things. You don't have to say the shahada between you and Allah. Allah, so, you know, Kami Sama to Anata no Aida ni Oite wa, Tokini Shinko Kokoa, or Fiona Wakede, Mo Muslim, the Rasha Wakede. Yes. But normally, when you say it becomes easier for you to practice it. You know, we pan take in Iwa, Shinko Kokoa, the Sarita Hoga, Yori, the Sensi Askunato. Would you like to say it in Arabic? Arabic or Tashin Tsuri, the Taki Master? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That means. That's it. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Allah. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa Rasuluhu. Wa Rasuluhu. If you can say in Japanese, I bear witness. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you. I will show you. アンナーの他に神はないということアンナーの他に神はないそしてムハンマド様がそしてムハンマド様がアンナーの使徒でありアンナーの使徒でありしもべであるということしもべであることタクビールアンナータクビールアンナーハワクバータクビールアンナーハワクバー You pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may he grant you jannah and inshallah may he through you get also other Japanese to Islam アンナーがあなたを手に入れるようになりますアリバイトムスリムボランティアス、if you can take their phone numbers and their name so that you can follow up with them and if they have any difficulty they have to help them. アリバイトムスリムボランティアス、sisters、to take them. よろしたら皆さんのあの特に進行交換された皆さんの連絡先などを教えていただければあのフォローアップさせていただきたいと思いますのでよろしくお願いします。皆さん方を通して他の方々が導かれますように。
あ長い間いろんな教えをありがとうございます、えー、私はあの韓国から来たんですけど Thank you for those teachings. I'm from Korea. あ韓国でイ・サンジュンと言います、uh, my name is イ・サンジュンそれであの、えー、日本では事業の今計画とかをしにこちらに来ています I'm planning to establish、uh, some business えー、と宗教についてちょっと素朴なちょっと疑問なんですけれど I have a simple question on religion. あの韓国と今北朝鮮とは今休戦中であの同じ民族で分かれてますよね As you know, Korean people between North and South are separated although、uh, the b o r d has been stopped for a while 同じあの民族だったのね同じ民族だったのが、えー、資,本資本主義と共産主義が入ってきて、それで二つに分かれて、まあ喧嘩ということで戦争が起きて、あの分かれた、分かれました。で、私のあの母は北朝鮮の人で、えうちのお父さんは韓国の人です。あ、uh,、although we were same nation, but because of the politics、uh, stance of difference,、uh, I my お父さんっておっしゃいました。あ、うちの父はあの北朝鮮、チェジュド、あの韓国の一番南の島のなんですけど。お母さんが来たでしょう。My mother is from North Korea, but my father is from South, so likewise has been separated because of the political issues. えっとイスラム教とあのキリスト教の歴史とかちょっと聞いたときに、あのアブラハムの子孫があのキリスト教とあとあのイスラム教に分かれたと聞きました。When I heard about the religions of Abraham, Abrahamic religion. The, the descendants of the Abraham has, has been、uh, developed those、uh, Christianity and Islam. あの神様が望まれているのかちょっと疑問なんですけど、まあ、それについてどうしたら戦争をしないであの2つの国が仲良くなるのかそういう疑問を持っているんですけど、まあ、宗,あの宗教の方々にそれをちょっと質問いたしますどうしたらいいでしょうか I am hoping that one day、uh, my, our na- my nation will be united together one day、uh, soon my question is、uh, again asking you the God's will、uh, How, without making war, could we could be coexist in harmony? Brother, the question that how could we coexist in harmony without making war? It is by following the Quran. If we follow the Quran and the guidance of the authentic Hadith, we can, co- we can coexist. And live peacefully throughout the world. This Quran is the future world constitution. It's the most positive book in the world. It's a fountain of mercy and wisdom. It's a guide to the erring. It's a hope to those in despair. Hope to those in despair. It's a solace to the suffering. This is the last testament of God. If you follow this, there will always be peace. 答えはズバリこのコロアンに従うことによってです。コロアンかつ、ごめんなさい、信教性に至る預言者ムハンマド様の原稿録に従うことで、争いを起こす,起こすことなく、えー、共存することができるはずです。このコロアンという書は、これこそ未来における世界憲章となると言えると思います。かつ、これこそは絶望にある人たちにとっての希望であり、苦しみある人たちにとっての慰めなわけです。Because this Quran says you have to love your neighbor, you don't have to fight with him. It says you should not hurt anyone, that you should not rob, that you should not rape. All this is mentioned here. Therefore, Quran says that イスラムについて読んでこられましたかいやあの読んできてませんあの今日いろんなことを教えてもらってありがとうございます読んではこられてないコランについてはとかも今日初めて聞きましたいろんなことは I only heard about Quran today only today so 
I request the organizer, if someone can give a Japanese translation to it, so inshallah you can read it and implement on it. I じゃあ、あの、今先生が言ったのは事務局の方にお願いです。コラーンの日本語版をぜひ差し上げてください。はい、ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。あ、で、ノンムスリム。ノンムスリムの方です。ノンムスリム
and Surah Nahl chapter 16 verse 43. First, Allu Ahli Zikri in Kuntun Talamun. If you don't know, ask the person who's knowledgeable. So if any question comes in your mind, you have to ask the person who's an expert. For example, if you get sick, who do you go to? You go to a doctor. So if you have any questions on Islam, you have to ask a person who's an expert on Islam. ご覧の中にも、もし何時らがわからないことがあるならば、それをより良くする専門家に尋ねればよいのです。ご覧の中にも、もし何時らがわからないことがあるならば、それをより良くする専門家に尋ねればよいと、ありますように、何か疑問が
でアルコールをやめていただいてそれから豚肉を遠ざけるのは何ヶ月何年後でもいいでしょうとあ,あと犬が好きなんですけど<笑> I like dogs I like dogs dog dog sister see what you have to understand what you have to understand if you stay see many people will be shocked What is Dr. Zakir Naik saying? <laughs> He is telling to the non-Muslim, you can have four. This is a Sharia ruling. Let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. The small loss is, I am telling you, okay, continue with pork, though it is wrong. I am not saying it is right, but telling you to prevent from the biggest sin that is shit. So I am using the Sharia and telling you, okay, continue pork. Maybe Allah will give you hidayah after a few days, after a few weeks, after a few months. But at least you stop shirk today, believe in one God Allah, believe in Prophet Muhammad, stop the alcohol, and the pork and dog can come later on. I am going to tell you about the Islam and the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. I am going to tell you about the Holy Spirit. えー、より大きな損失を招かないために、えー、より程度の少ない損失を、えー、少し甘んじて受けるというようなイスラムの法規定にのっとったお話をしているわけだ,だけですのであくまでも、えー、多神崇拝をまず立っていただいてアルコールを立っていただいてそれから、えー、豚肉を食べるというのはそあのステップバイステップで何年後かという話なわけです。Because, sister, if you don't believe in Allah and the Messenger, you cannot go to Jannah. If you believe in Allah and the Messenger and have pork, yet there are high chances. You know, and I care for you, and I want you to go to Jannah. That's the reason, pork, you can continue. Maybe after a few weeks, a few months, Allah will give you hidayah and you stop. But now, at least agree there is one God, and Prophet Muhammad is the Messenger. Become a Muslim and slowly, slowly you can keep on improving your practice slowly, slowly. So, the most important thing is that you are not the only one who is 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 the only one いうことなんですけどもいかがでしょう。ミスター・ウェリングでヒジャブもインポーテント。オールディウェリングヒジャブマシャラ。メディカルギフシャーザンドンウェイヒジャブ。ヨウェリングヒジャブ。ドギセケンディロー thing。ヒジャブもインポーテント。そうマシャラ、think that you already a practicing Muslim。to a great extent。あなたは素晴らしいムスリムイスラムを信じる女性としての実践をされているわけですよ。ヒジャブ、かぶりもするっていうのは。とてもイスラムを信じる女性としては大切なことなんですねあなた実践しておられるじゃないですか中にはムスリムでありながらヒジャブをかぶっていない方もたくさんいるわけですからすでにあなたはそれをもう実践しておられるということで素晴らしいとあなたのことを気にかけていますから天国に行っていただきたいのでいかがですかはいあーでもちょっと暑がりでちょっとこれ<笑>辛いんですけどでもあのこういう式の時とかあとマスクで勉強の時とかは頑張ってつけているだけなんです。I'm trying my best now because I, I'm basically I'm not I'm I don't like the humid you know atmosphere. It's good that's from telling you just to keep the atmosphere of wearing hijab that means the heart is very good. That's what I'm happy about it. I know for a lady to wear hijab is difficult, so that's what's impressing me. That means if you accept Islam, inshallah, you'll follow everything very fast. That's what I believe. ですからそのあなたがすでにその頑張ってえヒジャブをかぶっておられること自体が私にとって感動的ですと女性がヒジャブをするのは大変だと分かってますでもそれ,それすらも今頑張ってしとらるわけですからきっとあなたがひとたびスラム入信すればその学びも成長度合いも早いことでしょうと確信していますとマシャラムラティアドジョイスタ喜びの瞬間じゃないでしょうか Is that the Shada? Shinko Koka Kisanemaska. MashaAllah. Takbir! Takbir! This is the help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I say in Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. Arabic and you can repeat it. Ashadu. 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 Ashadu.
。明日どう？一ついいですか？<笑>これ、メアスキアクエスチョン。そう。どうぞ。イルカとクマは食べても大丈夫ですか？ええもう一度。イルカとかクマとか。イルカとクマ。普通食べますか？<笑>ちょっと食べてみたいんです。シザアスキング。Could I be able to eat dolphin and bears? Dolphin. Yes, I have a curiosity to have dolphin. No problem. ドルフィンのプログラムはどうでいいですよ。ドルフィンのプログラムです。ドルフィンのプログラム。イルカは大丈夫です。イルカは大丈夫です。ナウルセシャダレディですか準備は OK ですかサイナラビケンをリピート。Yes, yes. アシャドアシャドアシャドアラアライラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラハイラ Muhammad Abduhu 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 Warusuluhu 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 If you can say in Japanese, I bear witness. Allah is not in the world. Allah is not in the world. And I am in the world. And I am in the world. Muhammad is in the world. アンナーの使徒であり、しもべであるということ。タクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールタクビールネガクは思考のアンナがあなたをさらに導いてくださり祝福を与えてくださることを祈ります。天国へ入れていただけるように祈ります。そしてあなたを通して他の人たちが導かれるように祈ります。あなたは他の人たちの助けとなれるよう祈っています。あの名前をつけてもらえますか。Uh, she's asking you to name her. She's asking you to name her. Give her a Muslim name. Okay, sister, you can keep your name as Aisha. アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ。アイシャ
if when he chooses a life partner, he looks for four things: wealth, beauty, nobility, and virtue. The best among them is virtue. So give this hadith to the parents, and if she's a virtuous girl and a virtuous boy, then they should go ahead. And virtue is the best out of all these four criteria for marrying a spouse. Hope that answers the question. Okay. Can we have the next question from sister's side? I request if, that if the brothers can stand. Can all the brothers stand? All right. If the sisters can stand, so I know how many are there. Yes, sister. Oh, uh, Ask all the brothers to stand, so I know how many are pending. If you can stand, yes. Yes, sister. Okay. Um, th thank you for the, um, the very precise, uh, very clear uh, lecture. JazakAllah, sir. Yes, um, my name is Jannat Siddiq. I am a Muslim. Um, I became a Muslim in 2005 um, after marrying a Bangladeshi husband of mine. And, and mashallah, I have an eight year old daughter, Hadija. Um, again, mashallah. Um, okay, now, um, now finally, um, this is my time to ask a question. Um, okay, um, well, it looks like um, I would like to ask you. Uh, your opinion um, about this. Um, I have seen uh, like several videos of uh, fake halal um, animal fighting in the in the Middle East. Oh, and um, like fake halal, um, fake halal uh, meaning um, what well, you are supposed to slaughter the animal um, in the way of Quran, but it's not doing it. Um, it's actually um, they are electrocuting the animal, um, which uh, which make the um, well in that case um, I saw a sheep suffering when they die and um, and why is it um, I wouldn't want to say allowed but why is it getting so common these days and um, I have also seen the picture of um, animal fighting in that case um, two goats are fighting and um, and actually um, uh, these Muslims the local Muslims are eating them and uh, why is it um, why is it uh, why has it been practiced um, I would like to um, ask you your opinion about this Sister asked two questions that she has seen videos in which there is fake halal. So why is it being practiced or allowed? Sister, if it's not zabiya, according to the rules of the Quran and the Sunnah, it is haram to have that meat. Why it is being done? Because now halal business is becoming a very good business, you know. And in Japan also I found many people have a halal business, halal business, you know. So for business some people do it and some of the non-Muslims also do it. We as Muslims we should see to it that as long as it is following the criteria of Quran and Sahih Hadith, no problem. <clears throat> but if they are not following the criteria of Quran and Sahih Hadith because they want to make a fast money, then it is not allowed. So we should discourage such things. Regarding animals fighting, I know during the Bakri Eid or Eid Zoha, the children normally get goats and the goat fight. It's all. It is not encouraged. It is wrong for goat to fight. But some of the children do that. It is wrong. Yes. So we should not encourage that. The animals should fight among themselves. But if some people are doing it out of ignorance, we should guide them. And in Islam, the zabiya should be made according to the guidelines of the Quran and the Sunnah. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. No, yes, sir. Excuse me. Jahar to what you want In Indo to say, Gandhi, Gandhi, Gawa, Yume, Gawa, Islam, Kyono, Kan, Kan, Kanamite. <laughs> My name is Susa, Jafar Susa. Uh, India is famous for its Gandhi's River. Ga Gandhi's or Ga how do you Gandhi. Gandhi River. Yes, so uh, what, it, what is its position in Islam? Brother asked the question that India is famous for Ganges River. What is the position in Islam? In Islam, it's just a river. <laughs> <laughs> Almighty God says he sends water from the sky and leads it into sources. It's a river. In, in Hinduism, it's known as a holy river. In Islam, there is nothing. Only thing what we believe is in Zamzam. You know Zamzam in Makkah? That we believe is pure water. That's holy water. But the other thing, it's just a normal river. Ganges River, and it is just like any other river. Hope that answers the question. Islam in the world is Ganges River, but it is not a river. Thank you. Thank you.
ムスリムにとって特別なのはマッカにあるザムザムの泉から湧き出る水,水であって、えー、ガンジス川というのは単なる川であって他のたくさんある川の一つにすぎません。Inshallah, we'll have the last two short questions. One from the sisters, one from the brothers. Can we have a question of sisters before we end the session? Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa r a h m a t u l l a h i wa b a r a k a t u h I'm Imam, a homemaker,、Masha. a rebirth Japanese Muslim, who was really against Islam before, but Alhamdulillah came to this right path through watching your lectures on the internet. Alhamdulillah, may Allah accept it. Alhamdulillah. So, one of your sessions before you explained about the people with the disabilities.、Uh, they may be the test for their parents or themselves in this world. But how can we think of those people who are born with both gender characteristics as nature, like both men and female characteristics? Because God created、uh, creatures in a complete, perfect way. and In Quran, that there is clear cut of men and women. And these people not always have enough capacity to have the like operational surgery or a facility or money. So, how can we think of these phenomena in Islamic perspective? Sister asked the question that she has heard my tapes and she has been impressed. And she heard that when children are born with disability, it's a test. She's asking, what about those people who are born? Who are bisexual, that means they are both the sex. They are girl and boy together. Sister, as far as my knowledge goes, the majority, almost all, the people who are such t y p e of people, both the sex, they have been manipulated. They aren't born in that way. After they are born, there is certain surgery done, or they do certain things, and then they are converted. They aren't, they aren't congenitally born male and female together, hermaphrodite. It only happens afterwards that there are certain communities, there are certain g r o u p of people which do an operation after birth and then they convert into a, they convert into a sex which is of both the genders. So, this is the, the blame will not go on Almighty God, it will go on the human being system. But, like, yes,、uh, some people have the perception after they are born and society c h a n g e their mind, but some people born as a nature by both. Physical characteristics, so I'm confusing about this. As far as my knowledge goes, most or almost all happen later on. By birth, no one is a hermaphrodite, no one is born with both the sexes. It happens later on, sister. Hope that answers the question. Thank you very much. Yeah, the last question、Thank、before、you. we end the session. My name is Malik Habib Guru Rahman. I am correspondent of the World Muslim Congress in Tokyo, Othmar Al Islam.、Uh, actually, my question is in continuation of a question from one of the Japanese friends. He asked you about the Islamic State. Now, we have a big issue, it's recently, in the name. Of Daesh, ISIL, Taliban, and Al Qaeda. May I know what is it's the real issue and what connection it had? Because they claim they are fighting for a state, Islamic state. That's ISIL. Brother, Daesh, this Taliban, question has already been asked and the answer has been given. I will repeat the same answer. When you heard the question, you're asking the same thing again. I told you if anyone claims to have an Islamic state, if it's following the Quran and Sunnah, it's on the correct side. If it's not, then the wrong side. If someone kills any innocent human being, it is against the Quran and they cannot be an Islamic state. My, I think I haven't got. Brother, can we have the next question? Please. Brother, the question has been asked about and the answer has been given. Brother, the question has been asked and the answer has been given. It has not been answered satisfactorily. Tell me on the next question. Assalamu alaikum. I want to ask about your, your opinion regarding gay rights and LGBTQI rights. Thank you. 
Well, I said, what is my opinion regarding gay rights and LGBT rights? I find Islam, there is no concept of gay and LGBT. If someone wants to be, it is again a deviation. All this that you find is because when you don't follow the law of Almighty God, for example, we believe in segregation of sexes. You go to the Western world, according to statistics of USA, a person had eight different sexual partners before he settled down with one. So now when you break the rule and you start doing fornication, start doing adultery, what happens? You get tired of it. Then you want to go more. And then you start having sex with the same sex. No one is born as a gay. There was a theory which says that gay are congenital. Later on it was proved that the person who said this theory himself was a gay. So there's nothing like a person who's born being a gay congenital. These are all theories. So when you break the rule of Almighty God, you don't practice hijab, you don't follow the rules, and, and you don't have segregation of sexes, then you get tired, you overdo the things which are haram, then you want to do bestiality. You know bestiality? Bestial having sex with the animals. Then you start having sex in the wrong way. Then you start having lesbian. Then you start having gay. All these are deviation. When you keep on deviating, you want something new and new. And that's so that's the reason the psychologists tell that a person who doesn't have extramarital affairs, he enjoys the sexual married life the best. In Islam, we can only have with a wife, with a lawful wife and husband. When you keep on breaking this rule, okay, let's have a living partner, okay, let's just have fun. The moment you start having all these things, you break the rule of God and you start deviating and all these things. In Islam, there is no room. And this is all unnatural. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, sir. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. どうもありがとうございました。えー、質問はまだ続くんですけども、えー、あのあのはいあのもうあの時間になりなりましたのであの申し訳ありませんけどもあの2時間の時間が過ぎましたけどもおかげさまでたくさんの質問をいただきましたありがとうございます。それではあの閉会の辞としまして、えー、日本ムスリム平和連盟代表の。名門ムハマド・アンワルさんからクローズのメッセージをお願いします皆さんどうもこんにちはサラムアリ今日は長いセミナーを来ていただいていろんな質問していただいてありがとうございますもうあのこのセミナーは今日は第8回もう8年間あの東京大学の特に長澤先生のご協力をいただいてやっておりますそれの目的はイスラムの布教とかではなくてイスラムと非イスラムの人たちの間にブリッジをかけてあの特に誤解とかはクリアするというのが目的でありますでまあ,あの今日は午前,あ午前じゃない第一部ではヤングムスリムあの若い青年の日本人ムスリムのパ